This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by Stolen Idea, introducing a new three-part musical series from Stitcher Premium called Stolen Idea, written by Matt Besser and Bobby Matthews. Stolen Idea is a comedy punk rock musical that covers the theft of intellectual property and the artistic in both the music and comedy worlds. Produced and mixed by Earwolf's lead sound engineer, Brett Morris, the 17-song soundtrack features performances by me, Scott Ackerman, Paul Russ, James Adomian, John Gamberling, Virginia Matthews, Harris Whittles, Mike Cassidy, Mike Still, and Danielle Schneider. Listen to Stolen Idea on Stitcher Premium and get one month of Stitcher Premium free when you go to stitcherpremium.com slash stolen and enter the promo code CBB. In a hot desert where sand is sugar, tornadoes make cotton candy. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Ooh, thank you, Scotty's baby boy, <laughs> for that wonderful catchphrase submission. And welcome to Comedy Bang Bang for another week. And uh, boy, we're really uh, about four inches deep into Octi Doggy now. And. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, that's all that can be said about that. Uh, welcome to the show. Scott Ackerman here. Are you, are you certain? <laughs> I, you, have, you have explored this I topic have exhausted fully. that subject matter, yes. There's absolutely nothing more to say about Octi Doggy and, <laughs> and f- being four inches deep within. Yes. Uh, I believe that it, if you would have anything to add, Werner. I don't know uh, what I could contribute to this topic. Have you ever had your penis, which I would assume, Werner Herzog, uh, you're all about, uh, you, you, you hate nature and you love man. That that's me. So, so uh, uh, the, the first thing you think about when you think about man is is man's penis. Uh, that's what distinguishes man from woo man. So you must have a very strong, powerful one. Have you ever been four inches deep in anything? Um, this is a more personal question than you have ever asked me on this show before. I I agree. I but you know Werner Herzog, by the way, is our guest today. Uh, we have never really gotten personal on this other than uh, we tried to set up a romance between you and Pig Sue, Big at, one, Sue yes. at one point. But um, We went on a pizza date. <laughs> yes. How does she like her pizza again? She likes it uh, round. She likes a round pie. Right. With, uh, like a crust? Yes, a round uh, crust. A little uh, bit of cheese? Tomato sauce, mm. a, a little bit of cheese, uh, maybe some pepperoni. <laughs> right. And or is it maybe some cheese? <laughs> I believe it's uh, the former. How do you like your pizza? Uh, pizza is uh, one of those foods that uh, everyone loves, but I don't uh, understand because uh, the circular nature of it uh, brings me nothing but despair. I, what I see is the the endless... Uh, a cycle of life, uh, birth, uh, rebirth, death. Uh, it's all mixed together in there and also a uh, black olive yuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like saying no matter what progress you make as a human being, you're just going to end up right back where you started. You mean me specifically? Yes. <laughs> Shots fired <laughs> at Werner Herzog. Acclaimed uh, documentary director Werner Herzog is back with us. Also by the- regular. Yes. you uh, And also actor. Uh, Jack Reacher, of course. I being... notably played the bad guy in Jack Reacher who had uh, not as many fingers as you might think that someone has. I would think 10, maybe 11. G- lower. <laughs> Wait, are we doing prices Right Rules? Yes. Two. <laughs> Higher. Nine. beep up a I'm afraid you have overbid. <laughs> Um, Scott Ackerman here. Uh, by the way, very important announcement coming up uh, at the end of the show in your favorite section of the show, Plugs. But uh, we have uh, acclaimed director Werner Herzog. You know, I was uh, on Netflix the other day looking for documentaries, and I saw your name pop up. And I was like, oh, I should watch this. But then I realized that would spoil my perfect record of not really ever seeing one of your films. Now, this is a record that is uh, only important to you. Um, so you feel as if you want to be this uh, gold star not having seen Werner Herzog films, but uh, you're only cheating yourself because... Don't make fun of a gold star family. 
Look, if I see one of your films, then you caught me. <laughs> <laughs> if I see one of your films, then suddenly you'll experience some sense of joy or accomplishment that that I've seen one of your films. Or do you not care about that kind of thing? I uh, there's very little I care about. Uh, I'm surprised uh, whenever anyone tells me they've seen my films. I don't make them with the intention of people seeing them. Uh, I make them because I'm compelled to make them. Uh, I'll be honest. Uh, I haven't seen any of them, so uh, I'm in the same uh, group as you. <laughs> you've never seen a film you've made? Not you've, a single one. How do they become edited? Do you just d- dump a bunch of footage on the editor's door and say, it's your problem now? I go into the editing bay with the editor, and I, I insist upon being blindfolded, and they put those uh, earphones on me that the guys at the airport use <laughs> when the they're guiding the Family planes. feud ones? <laughs> I'm not familiar. You know, at the end when they, it's not the showcase showdown, we're talking about prices Right again, but uh, at the end where uh, one person goes off and they get headphones on that uh, are noise canceling so they do can't we, hear the other. Do we see this person with the headphones? We have. Ne- that's the interesting part of Family Feud. We have never seen that person with the headphones on. You think one of the reboots, they would be like, should we show them with the headphones on? No, we just take it at face value that they're not able to hear what the other person is saying. I think they should do a little box inset of the person with the headphones and then Steve Harvey could look at that person and make a bunch of faces at uh, their dull, incomprehending uh, uh, visage uh, as they sit there in total silence, deprived of one of the five senses. Mm -hmm. They only have four to work with at that point. Do they no longer make them wear oven mitts? (laughs) (laughs) I, that is not part of Family Feud lore, as far as I know it. I, in the days of the Richard Dawson Family Feud, at least as it uh, aired in Germany, I remember that the person was taken into a complete sensory deprivation area. And, like a uh, daredevil tank or something? Does Daredevil have a tank? In the Affleck Daredevil, he gets inside inside a sensory deprivation tank. I haven't seen the film. You have not seen it. I would think that maybe you would play the Punisher on it or something. <laughs> Big skull and crossbones on your chest. <laughs> it's what is this Halloween? <laughs> uh, what about Halloween? Are you are you in for the reboot with Jamie Lee? Not it, comedian Jamie Lee. Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> is it truly a reboot if one of the original stars is in the film? I believe Does she played the same character. She plays the same character, and yet I believe it is rebooting continuity after maybe number two or something. I'm not sure. Danny McBride has written it. I hear it's very good, uh, but I, I don't know the ins and outs. Do you think uh, many people uh, are very uh, uh, they they care very deeply about the continuity of the Halloween universe? <laughs> I don't know. I think people do because when it was announced, there were a lot of people online chatter basically was saying, uh, "Why bother? Why I'm I've had it up to here with these constant reboots." Uh, why bother getting Jamie Lee Curtis if it's going to just do away with Halloween H2O? Halloween water. Do you know I was going to reboot uh, Fitzcarraldo with the guys who did the Lego movie, but uh, a lot of the diehard Fitzcarraldo fans wouldn't hear of it. <laughs> uh, have you ever thought about Fitzgeraldo? Where you get Greg Fitzsimmons and Geraldo Rivera <laughs> to be in a, in a reboot of that film. I... I haven't seen you in a while, and I forget that uh, a big part of your thing is just a word association. Yes, like I apologize. You're, uh, you're a psychiatric patient. <laughs> yes. Do you think that I need help? I, have you ever gotten s- psychiatric help yourself? I have seen many uh, psychiatrists, but I've never been asked back. <laughs> Wait, so it, I guess it's a two-way street. The psychiatrist has to want you back. Especially in, uh, in Germany, there is a, a street called Psychiatry Street. Uh, and it's a two-way, and mm-hmm. uh, you go in one way, and the psychiatrist comes in another way, and uh, um, you meet in the middle of the street, <laughs> and uh, you have a battle of wills, uh, and that determines whether or not you will uh, be granted treatment or not. Mm, my God. I guess it is sort of, uh, in a way, one shouldn't assume that just because you're paying for someone, they have to do something for you. I mean, people aren't slaves, right? I think absolutely you should assume that if you're paying <laughs> I think the whole idea of the payment is that uh, you will assume that the people will do the thing you are paying them to do. I guess so. So if you were to pay someone and they said, you know what, I'll take it, but I'm not going to do what 
I said I would do for you. I would, that I think would be playing your hand a bit too early. I think that uh, <laughs> you would probably want to make the person First think take it. <laughs> at least for a while that you're going to do the thing you're being paid for. I don't know. I'm not a grifter. I'm not a traveler. Uh, I don't know these tricks. And yet you have been uh, hit in the stomach with a baseball bat many times. <laughs> yes, I have. Ah, uh, grifters references. The 90s. I love cinema. <laughs> you do, you do. Are you working on anything on anything now, Werner? I'm taking a little break uh, just to... Uh, just like Ross and Rachel. <laughs> That's interesting you say that because I'm watching all of Friends finally. Are you? Yes. Con- I'm, I'm concurrently watching, or Concurrently, separately? yes. I'm watching that one video. <laughs> That's all the episodes the Netflix at the same time. <laughs> How is it? It it brings me a great sense of peace and calm. <laughs> I bet. At a certain point, the last vestiges of the Friends theme fade out on that one. That's and right. I feel like I saw a monkey at one point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, remember that episode? Wow. Which one? When they got a monkey. Was it just one episode? I don't know. I can't remember. Was it a whole season they had a monkey? Was he one of the Friends? I can't. For an entire season? I think that Marcel was considered. Is your bathroom? Uh, Hello? sorry, we're, we're recording in here, sir. I don't give a fuck. Is this bathroom here? Uh, uh, the bathroom, uh, yeah, the, the bathroom is d- uh, down the hall. Uh, yeah, uh, that's too far away. You mind if I bust a piss right here quick? D- do we mind if you bust a piss? You're yeah. going to uh, bust a piss? Yeah, did I stutter? I don't, I, I don't understand. Please, pl- yeah, please don't uh, urinate God. within uh, no, I'm the gonna, studio. I'm not, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna bust a piss right oh, quick. Oh my Just, God, wait, no, please put that away, uh, sir. Oh, he's I, oh. making good on his promise to bust a piss. <laughs> I guess he's a man of his word, and we should. That's an admirable quality. It's not going well from what I'm overhearing. Uh, Uh, You know what? I can't do this. Uh, Please don't, then. I can't piss right now. Yeah. Yeah, something went wrong. Oh, some, with the mechanics? I don't know what's going on with this thing. I got this penis over here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we were talking about right. those earlier yeah, on I the show. I came in here, I thought I got to bust a piss, and then I come in here to take a piss. Sorry, sir, sir. I just can't bust a piss. All right, thank you, boys. Thank, thank you. There he goes. I, I wonder if we'll ever find out who that gentleman was. That was a strange interlude. It really was, but... Uh, it happens all the time. When you have an open door policy here on the show, you know, sometimes things like that happen. People just coming in. Yeah, and wh- oh sorry, my God. It's back. I got to bust the piss right quick. There we go. Oh, oh whoa. No. Now he's, the floodgates have opened. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is like Universal Studios when you're at that place where Moses parted the Red Sea. My goodness. Uh, no, that's a piss. Thank hmm. you. No, no problem. I, I noticed you pissed on uh, the corpses of some of the people who have died on the show previously. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Very, uh, it happens. <laughs> it happens? Is yeah, that what you said? I said it happens. <laughs> Sir, I'm sorry, but who, what? Uh, it had beans. It happens, you know. What What are you That's doing? That's what they say. It was, was a Gandhi who said that, I think, right? It was who? It was Gandhi who said that. Mahatma Gandhi. Yeah, God bless you. <laughs> You've been tricked. That's like saying underwear, and someone says, "I made you say underwear." I walked into that one. <laughs> oh, well, you deserved it, sir. Who are you? All what right. are you? What are you doing here? What, what are you all about? What you yes. what, why are you wandering the halls oh, of the studio? Who the fuck are you? State your premise. Oh, I, <laughs> he is right, though. We should say who we are in order to find out who he is. I'm Scott Ackerman. I'm host of Comedy Bang Bang, which oh, is no a way. podcast. Have you ever heard of a podcast? Yeah, yeah, sure. That's like the radio. It's, yeah, yeah. Serial. I'm thinking it's Joe Rogie, right? Joe Rogie, yes, yeah, exactly. Joe, yeah. Joe. yeah. Enough said, enough back. said. Yeah. This is Werner Herzog. He's a film director and sometimes actor. Did you ever see Jack Reacher? Uh, yeah, you got no fingers in it. Oh, you got a couple, you only got a couple fingers in that thing. That's correct. Yeah, that's a shame. You now know, look down at his actual things. fingers. What the fuck is that? Surprise. It was acting. I was nice. pretending to have fewer fingers than I usually do in life. You got them all. You got all 10. Eh? All 10. Werner, was there ever a BuzzFeed article about like, you saw Jack Reacher, now guess how many fingers Werner Herzog has in real life? There sort was, of like the it clown, you know? Guess how handsome he is. There was a quiz uh, where you could determine which of Werner's fingers you are. <laughs> Oh, really? And which were most people? Most people were the left thumb. Mm, yeah, I can see that. I turned out to be Slytherin. What a bummer for anyone who turns out to be Slytherin from the sorting hat. Like, if you're a kid, you don't want to be Slytherin. You'd better Slytherin than Hufflepuff. Really? I yes. Think so, yeah. Why? Hufflepuff, because I think, is the weak. 
Yeah, Slytherin is like bad guys, you know, like tough guys, you the know, guys who can take care of themselves, like Hufflepuffs. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. You know what, what are you I'm doing with your hand there? Hey, Hufflepuffs. You know what I'm saying. Oh, okay, I don't know what you're saying. This Sir, motion who? he's making is correct about Hufflepuff. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. This, Sir, this hand gesture from the 80s. <laughs> you you you're, know this one. Sir, who are you? What I'm Slopeshi. <laughs> what? My name is Slow Pesci. Slow Did Pesci? Did you say Joe Pesci? No, shut the fuck up with that shit. No, I said Slow Pesci. You must have slow said- Slow There's something wrong with my ears, obviously. It sounded to me as if he said Slow Pesci. He's obviously saying Joe Pesci. And he looks- Joseph no, Pesci. He looks I, somewhat no, like Joe Pesci. He I, does. No, I know, I know. Are you a Joe Pesci impersonator? No, I'm not. I could be, but I'm not. <laughs> I should be, but I'm not. <laughs> I am slow, stiff, Pesci. Joe is my bratty. Joe is your bratty? Yeah. Is yeah. that... Uh, I know. That's all I... You know, you think... You, you, your brother's a famous person. You think your people bring up something else. But no, it's always the Joe. How's Joe Pesci doing? When's he going to make another movie? I say, hey, go fuck yourself. Cause Little Joe I got a Pesci. life, too. Yeah. Isn't that what he called himself when he was uh, singing he Gotta Get You Into My Life? a lot of things. He Gotta Get You Into My Life? Things. Yeah, he made an album, right? Yeah. yeah. He, he Well, he made a, uh, an album as his character from My Cousin Vinny. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years after my Finally. cousin Vinny yeah. came out. Yeah, you. I got a hit while the iron is not existent anymore. Have you ever wanted to hear Blondie's Rapture with a lot of cursing <laughs> from the character from my cousin Vinny? Uh, trust me, I heard it all the time in the bedroom, in the living room. He's always singing that shit around the house. Yeah. Did you fellows ever pick up that album uh, that Al Pacino made as his character from Dog Day Afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. The, it... the, the, the hit single Attica was uh, my favorite track. Right. Right. Does he think talk about or sing about things that are out of order at any point? Or? That's injustice for all. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes, you know what? The, the older we get, the harder it is to differentiate between things. <laughs> Isn't it? You know uh, that's, what I mean? a, that's an observation and a fact. In yeah. some ways. That, that is usually the, the, the complaint of people who are very advanced in age. <laughs> well, <laughs> slow Pesci. How slow interesting. Pesci. Are you an older or a younger brother? Uh, I mean, both, kind of, if you think about it, but older. <laughs> I, I, okay. Uh, y uh, younger in what way, if I'm really thinking Younger about. at heart. At heart. Oh, yeah. I see. Because Joe Pesci, he, is he retired? Is you, he retired? No, no, reti no retired. Oh, sorry. I thought I was going to say yes. <laughs> oh, you were going to say yes. I was going to, but now I'm going to say no. No, I, I. No, he's not retired. He's just kind of, he's doing his own thing. He's Joe Pesci. He don't need to work. You know? Well, that's the thing. I mean, he hasn't done a movie in, in nigh upon 10, 15 years or so. I heard he was cast in something recently, a, a new movie. Yeah, but, but uh, thing, I think. Right. Netflix, I believe. Right, yes. But um, do, are you an actor as well, or? Uh, kind of. I, I, I'm a jack of all trades, you know. I'm, I, I, I was, I wanted to be an actor, but I'm uh, I'm a little slower than my brother. You're slower. Yeah. How do, how do you mean slower? What do you do? You mean mentally? Do you mean physically? Do you mean a combination of both? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, I always wanted to do what he did, but you can't you can't have the same magic. It's like lightning striking twice. You know, mm. it's like he got. You ever see uh, twins? Twain's, like the Shania movie, Twain? The movie the, Twain's. The movie Twins, yes. Oh, Twins. With, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. 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 God bless you. And, uh, and uh, the other, what's the little guy? Well, David. you got Danny DeVito. The DeVites. The DeVites, yes, yeah. of course. It's a kind of like, a, it's like a little bit of that situation. Like, he's the, he's the, the Schwarzenegger, and I'm... You're the DeVitz. And I'm the DeVitz. In, in, what, in what way? I don't really recall that Even movie. I'm I slow. My brain don't work. My, my pain don't work. Like, a lot of my things don't work. I but see. I'm still a human with thoughts. So I'm going to keep going. I'm not going <laughs> to. So not you're not gonna, just going to. I'm gonna not going to just. I'm not going to pull the trigger. I'm not going to end it. You're but, not you going know. to have yourself uh, euthanized. Ah, uh, Nah. Will they euthanize you if you if there's nothing like seriously wrong with you? Like if you were like, I got some back pain. This is it. I think if you find the right guy, you could get anything. Yes, it I, you want, why you want to get you tonight? Oh no 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 no! Slow, I know a guy. No slow Pesci, I'm not interested. I know. In Are you sure? You because you're it. having trouble differentiating things from one another. <laughs> yeah, you're getting up there. It seems like it seems you talk like you're 900 hey years old. <laughs> Stop teaming up against me, all right? <laughs> you guys don't know each other. I, <laughs> I'm a fan of his work, though. Oh know? wait, you know I mean, Werner Herzog? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a cinephile? 
Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know That's what, what the that kids? means? No. Oh. <laughs> no, no, wait, no. Do you like movies? <laughs> oh, movie, yeah, 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 those are fine. <laughs> Slow Surf, have you ever been in a movie? Also, I have a follow-up question. Got it. Is Slow Surf your given name? Uh, yes, it was, it's on my birth certificate. Mm. Um, my mommy and my daddy said, what should we name him? And they said, Slow Surf, and they mm. wrote that down. So Joseph Pesci is a parody of your name. Correct. <laughs> Interesting, because yeah. you were first. Yeah, I came first, and they said, well, boy, we got to have a good one of these. <laughs> right. Like, Dude, just think so of even, the potential. Even as an infant, they we got to leave it in a little bit longer. I was born in four months. Yeah, whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's yeah. very premature. Yeah, 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 which is weird, because I'm supposed to be slow. <laughs> but you were fast in that I regard. I was fast in that regard. Ever since then, I... Took it way down. <laughs> How are you? Are you slow physically? Can you run? How? At what I speed can run do you run? About, I can run about two miles per hour. Two miles yeah, per hour. Yeah, yeah, my legs are short and the knees are broken. So we're well, right. not broken, but they're brittle. Like, yeah. Two miles per hour is not fast. No, it's pretty slow. How, but how? But how fast can Joe run? Like oh, he like a leopard, like a leopard fish. <laughs> really, I yeah, would yeah, not. Yeah. Think he that. runs like 80, 60, 60, 70 miles per hour. Why don't they capture that on film? I mean, if someone, it's if it, impossible. Oh, they, okay. Yeah, you you have just, your it just so. not yeah, enough frames. Just they looks sh- like a little blur. They should get one of those oh, like man. Hobbit frame, like forty eight frames per second to try we to capture. Never, it. We never thought of that. <laughs> Do you feel as if uh, your name was a, was a, a curse put upon you that uh, you it was a self fulfilling prophecy even though it was not a prophecy that you made? I wasn't happy. If that's what you're asking, I thought that was pretty rude. I thought maybe like you know Steve, right? Or, you know, or something. You know, something real. Something like a Mike, Frank. Yeah. Or, excuse me. Uh, like yeah, boy, you you even burp slow. Yeah. That was really, really yeah, slow. I mean, it slow. was almost it's as the, if your mouth went into slow the, my motion. My pipes, all the things inside me, like the pipes and the tubes and the whatever and the, the you know, whatever. Yeah, they, series they all, of tubes. They're all gummed up. They're all just not working right. You ever, um, you ever have a broken sink? Uh, I have. You have? Uh, I, uh, you yeah. have, like, you know, you call the plumber in there? Yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely I've had that. That's kind of like what it's like to be inside. You ever see Inner Space? Um, should we confer? Have you yes, ever? Yes, we ask him and then I'll, I'll be over here. Excuse us one moment, sure, no, so Slow Pesci. I'm just going to bust the piss right quick. Hey, uh, Werner? Yes. Uh, slow Pesci. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure of what to think about him. He seems like a troubled soul and uh, also a troubled body. <laughs> well, he, I'm worried about the body. He has this a lot of problems. the second attempt at, at busting a piss. <laughs> Seems to be going okay this time. What's going on with this thing over here? And it's t- uh, technically, uh, this on. is uh, the third piss that he has busted. <laughs> That's true. Just come out. Right? There was the aborted false start. Sure. Uh, then, then, then there the was just... The uh, deluge yes. that followed. And, and now, now this is just piss. like a little There's bit of a dribble-drabble. I don't know all the medical terms. Right. You're uh, not a doctor, nor should you ever be expected to be one. Have you seen Inner Space, the film? Inner Space, the film. Now, um, who is in this film? You know, obviously, you love the cinema. I love the cinema, mm-hmm. and uh, I've seen every film, of course. Okay. And uh, this film stars uh, Dennis Quaid. He's an astronaut, yes. Have yes. S- yes. And he is yeah. uh, shrunk With down. Sam Shepard. You're thinking of the right stuff. Then I no. Then I don't know this. Film. He is an astronaut of uh, of a kind because he's put into a tiny. He's put into a craft, and then everything is shrunk down, and mm. he enters the the body of uh, Martin Short. He enters the body of Martin Short. He is injected into the bloodstream. Uh-huh. Oh, into the bloodstream. I think. <laughs> Well, uh, this sounds like a dynamite film. Have you ever seen it? It's pretty good. Nah, okay. Right. This thing ain't working over All right. Yet. Hey, so uh, we've conferred. Uh, Werner has seen it. I have not. I have okay. seen Inner Space. I retain uh, m- most of a sound memory of the plot and actors. I was just curious. Mm-hmm. I just remember the part where the guy had the cowboy hat on, and he said, I'm, uh, uh, I'm an old cow head. I'm an old cow head. From, from, from the, the, the Rio, Rio Grande. Grande. That always made me laugh. It made you laugh. Yeah. Yeah. What about Meg Ryan? I don't like him. That's a very sad lady. Very sad lady? Yeah, she always makes me real sad. Really? Because like, her, her sweaters always seem to be too big and yeah, she can't get her hands you out of the sleeves. You and you look at her and you're like, wait, wait, you know, where's Tom? That's true. She had Tom such Hanks. a good run with yeah, Tom. Thomas Hanks. He, 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 I miss them. I just want them to be together. How what? many films did they make together? At least three. What do we got? We got oh, Sleepless uh, in Seattle, Sleepless Joe versus the Volcano, versus You've volcano. Got Mail. The... 
you, uh, uh, I always one. I always forget that you've got Mail and Sleepless in Seattle are not the same film. <laughs> yeah. Dave Chappelle is in that one. Yeah, can you believe it? Playing Tom Hanks' best friend. Yeah. That's finally. a weird pairing. <laughs> What if they made a film that was just You've Got Mail and Sleepless in Seattle, the plot combined, and they got, got those— You Got Seattle? <laughs> you've Got Seattle. <laughs> and just the end was they look around Seattle and say, You've Got Seattle. Well, I'm sleepless in the mail. <laughs> I like sleepless in the mail because it implies that uh, there is uh, someone trapped inside an email uh, who is <laughs> oh, I like in it. a hell of electronic mail. Almost like someone's trapped in a computer like Johnny Mnemonic or something oh. like that. Perhaps Have we ever are... talked about mnemonic devices? <laughs> You and I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess my other friend, <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber, and my other other friend. <laughs> He's not really a friend, but <laughs> it could be. It could be. <laughs> um, what about that? That would be so, uh, slow, Pashi. Yeah. Would it be something if we were to you like just me, you can call me slow. Uh, just slow, okay. Uh, what if we were? Hey, s- you know what? Call me slow, Pashi. Slow, Pashi. Hey, what if- you know, you know what? Call me Gary Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace. Did you ever meet Gary Marshall? Oh yeah. Well, I nah, I don't know if meat is the right word. What but is the I was, right word? I was in the same room when a guy got shot when Gary Marshall was there. A guy got shot. Yeah. What yeah. were the circumstances? Uh, see, Did, my brother's an actor, you know, and I yeah. gotta I gotta make the bills, you know. I gotta pay these things. So I was in the mafia for a little bit. Ooh. You were in the mafia. Yeah, I was a hitman. And um, whoa. And uh, I, I, I got a, you know, you, you don't, you don't get a phone call or nothing. You get a little piece of paper with an name on it, and you go and you kill that dude. So, wow. Yeah. So I, I you said it, name, right? Not aim. I'm not, sorry. You said name on it. No, not, you get a piece of paper aim. with an aim on it. You get the uh, uh, AOL <laughs> instant yeah, messenger yeah. handle. <laughs> yeah, that's what okay. I got. And you have to do all the work figuring out who. Yeah, that I gotta is. go through. I gotta go find an old computer, <laughs> right. hook that thing up, boot it up, boot it. I gotta say, past November. You're not. You're going to be out of work. Oh yeah, that's why I'm trying to. Yeah, that's why I'm over here, the Wolf, trying to bust a piss and trying to get something going on. Right, here, right. You know? So you do get... know where you are. Uh, Earwolf Studios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, great. So yeah, now... no, I came here specifically. I'm trying to get my career off the ground. I'm trying to, trying to put it on the fast track. You if may you have will. come to the wrong place. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, boy. It seems like a more of a plateau. Like, you just kind of, but not, but not bad, you know. But <laughs> no, really but you're just gonna but. like. Do you like coasting? Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do. Are you kidding me? I like. I'm like my my life is like a nice lazy river. <laughs> how how passionately can you talk about mattresses? <laughs> Let's hear. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I took a I took a little nap this morning. <laughs> On a beautiful case by Matrix. <laughs> and it was glorious. My we're, we're, back, a, we're a Lisa show here. My we're a Lisa spine. show. I, that's what I said, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa, uh, Casper's Italian for Lisa, right? All right. What do you think about microbes? <laughs> Just Look, in general? I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, this is not I think we all know what I think about microbes. You're anti. I'm going to do this hand gesture again. Mm-hmm. That's what I think oh, about okay. microbes. So you got an aim uh, handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get there, and you know, I see the name, and I do all the tracking. I figure it out, and mm-hmm. I get there, and I'm like, all right, it's time. Mm-hmm. Slow, you got to do this. This is your jab. This is your little jib jab. You got to go in there mm-hmm. and do this. So I take out the pistol. Mm-hmm. Was jib jab a part of your research? Is this how you tracked <laughs> yeah, the Yeah, was it jib jab's yeah, name as one well? of how I found him. Yeah, that helped. <laughs> And because uh, you see the face on top of like an animated mm-hmm. body dance, yeah, around. yeah, yeah. And I'm looking around, and everybody's body is real. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, all right, and that's not the way to do it. So then I see the guy, mm-hmm. and I'm about to plug him right in the back of the neck, right in the right. back of the throat. Is that there. is that what uh, hitman style execution oh, no, it's, style? It's the worst idea. It causes <laughs> the most blood. It's the most sound. Sometimes you hit the spine. Sometimes you don't. You miss. Right. It yeah. goes straight through. They live, but you know. Hey, it you only live once. Interesting, right? What are we going to do? Pop the guy in and go catch a movie real quick? <laughs> no. Come on. Let's, let's, let's not be stupid over here. All right. So you. Especially you. Especially me. Hey, come yeah. on. I said no teaming up against me. All right. All right. All right. So but you, I go to pop him in the neck. I got the gun right against the back of his neck. He doesn't know it's coming. Gary mm-hmm. Marshall comes over, says hi, shakes his hand. He's a friend of Gary Marshall. Oh, wait. Is this Hector Elizondo? It was Hector Elizondo. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Gary Marshall's good luck charm, Hector mm-hmm. Elizondo. 
He so Gary Marshall saved Hector Elizondo's life. I mean, probably many times, but in this situation, yeah, I would think did. it would be vice versa, and that's why Gary keeps putting him in films. But no, no. he does it to protect him. <laughs> wow! Yeah, so he'll always be around him. Yeah, he does. He let, almost never leaves his side. Do he got think- a little side car built on his on his own body. <laughs> really, like a like a Batman and Robin style. Yeah, he, side he, car? Gary Marshall. When you don't see him in interviews, it, usually because it's only from you know like chest up, but right. down on his side is a little side car. Like, Come there. to think of it, any time I've seen an interview with Gary Marshall, it's always been chest up. Mm-hmm. Mm. There's it a never reason occurred to me. I'm always like lower that thing and a little the bit. reason is Hector Elizondo is in a wow. tiny sidecar attached to his body right next to him. Is, it, is the sidecar made of some kind of organic material that uh, is grafted yeah, onto it's the It's like skin. a human flesh kangaroo bargain. <laughs> Almost as if Gary Marshall had advanced in an evolutionary way mm-hmm. in order to uh, attach himself to Gary El- or Hector Elizondo. You adapt, you know? And, right, yeah. I wonder who put out that hit. Do you think it might have been Gary? Why would he go to the trouble of having the flesh sidecar if he could just kill Hector Elizondo at any time? Slow Pesci said, you got to keep it interesting. Yeah, you got to keep it interesting. You know, that's what I would do if I had that. Yeah. You know, I, got, I got Joe Pesci. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing with my brother, you know. Really? Yeah, he's, it's ridiculous. You, you go out of the house and you're like, I, you know what? I could, say, I could cure cancer. Mm-hmm. I could go out of the house. I could save a baby from getting hit by a train. Mm-hmm. And then, Are you close to doing either of those things? I've, I've been so close. I saw a During baby cancer? sitting on the train tracks, right? I really? kicked the thing out of the way. Out of the way. The train, I kicked. <laughs> what? Not the baby. How did that go? Terrible. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine that's a way to lose but a But I foot. saved the baby's life. Okay. What does a woman come over and say, hey, can you get me Joe Pesci's fucking autograph? Oh. <laughs> Rude. And how- how close were you to curing cancer? I'm still pretty close. I'm <laughs> really? working on it. What I'm is, close. Like, what What do we need to know? Like, what? Uh, you got to get a couple things and crush them up. You got to get, uh, like, medicine, Nabisco crackers. <laughs> okay. Um, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, Just medicine. Yeah, two things and you crush medicine. them up. I'm close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any kind of medicine. Whatever you have? Blue medicines. Blue. Yeah. Okay. So, Your yeah. leaves. A leaves, yeah. And that's it. Right. Uh, maybe you, what Walter White was selling? Sure. Meth, meth, methamphetamines. Yeah. Did, well, wasn't there a name for that? I mean, that cures everything. Am I, I right? <laughs> I don't know that it was considered medicine. <laughs> So, slow, Pesci. Yeah, I'm sorry. You seem, from the look on your face, you seem confused by me. I just came in here to bust a piss. No, and you've done that three yeah, times. I, well, I try. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, you know what? If, if you wouldn't mind sticking around and, and we could talk to you a little bit, we have to take a break. But uh, if you wouldn't mind. Hey, fuck it. I got that to do, yeah. You're trying to expand your horizons. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. Podcasting I'm trying to get something sphere. going over here. Yeah, you know, sure. I got scripts. I got ideas. Werner, I know we were supposed to talk uh, in depth about your next project. Uh, you were saying something about. Uh, Fr- oh, no, you're just watching Friends. That's right. <laughs> but did you have something else? that? Well, look, let's talk about it after the break. When we come back, we'll have more from Werner Herzog. We'll have more from Slosive Pesci. Correct. Uh, this is more Comedy Bang Bang coming back to you right after this. <laughs> hey, everyone. Scott Ackerman here. Hi. And uh, there he is. Paul F. Tompkins what? is oh, right. Was I not supposed to say hi? Well, I usually don't like to let on that you're here with me when I do the ads. But I'm here every single time. I know, but I this is the first time you've ever spoken up. I think because I was doing a crossword puzzle, and you said, "Hi, I'm Scott Ackerman," and I you assumed just, that was an answer. Well, I was kind of not. I wasn't fully paying attention, and I thought, "Oh, he's saying hi. I should say hi back." Mm-hmm. So yeah, you thought it was a 17 letter long answer to a crossword puzzle? No, I I think I, I'm not no. listening to what you're saying. I meant answer like I was answering you. Ah, did you write down though in the hi crossword? is only two letters? <laughs> I'm Scott Ackerman though. Yeah, but I'm saying – I was the one saying hi. Why would I – What are you – by the way, what is the clue that you're looking for? Four four letters opposite of low? Four – yeah. Interesting. That's right. Hey, Paul, I want to yeah. I want to talk to you about something. Oh, well, sure. I'll put my crossword puzzle aside. Please, please, please. Um, it's October, right? No, I know. Yeah. Okay. That's was all that it. the – that was it. quizzing was, me? Well, no. I literally did not know. The year goes by so quickly, does it not? Yeah. Do you agree? The leaves falling from the trees. I Just yesterday, it seems, I was watching those fireworks go off for New Year's Eve. And now, look where we are, yeah. October. I watched my son die. I'm sorry, on New Year's Eve? hmm I didn't know that you— Well, I hadn't made plans, so— <laughs> That was a last-minute thing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't like to get out there with all the drunks. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, well, this October, Blue Apron— 
is celebrating, guess how many years? Two. Higher. Three. Higher. Four. Higher. Five. Did I get it? You got it. Yeah. That's a callback to what we just did previously. That's on the right. Show. Uh, Blue Apron celebrating its fifth anniversary by bringing back its top 20 recipes from throughout the past five years as picked by you, the Blue Apron community. Do you know what I think they should have done to celebrate? What? Is shorten their name to Blapron. Blapron. So much easier to say. Blapron. Blue, Blue Apron. Blue Apron. Blue Apron. Blue Apron. Blue Apron. It doesn't even sound like a real thing. Blue Apron. It sounds like gibberish. Just Blapron. Blapron. <laughs> so easy to say. Yes. It sounds like you're in the future. It's fun. Blapron. Blapron. I am the Blapron. <laughs> Exterminate. <laughs> Uh, they brought back all of your favorite Blue Apron recipes. They're back on the menu for a limited time only. Seems like they would use them all the time if they were the favorites, but I don't know. I'm not part of the Blapron uh, team, I guess. And you Who won't be without that, that, that attitude. That, <laughs> that, 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 we should just call it that, that, that attitude. That attitude. <laughs> that attitude. Not a bad show title, by the way. Oh, okay. um, try out Blapron's all-time <laughs> customer faves by going to Blapron.com. Actually, you should go to BlueApron.com. <laughs> but do go to Blapron.com and let us know what you find. Get it, if you could. Squat on that domain. <laughs> I would love to have a competing service, Blapron. <laughs> Uh, it just makes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> That's all. And I'll make them myself. <laughs> and I'll autograph them in <laughs> chocolate sauce. By going to blueapron.com slash CBB. Okay, blueapron.com slash CBB. All right, for less than $10 per person per meal, Blapron delivers seasonal recipes along with pre-portioned ingredients to make delicious home-cooked meals. PPIs? PPIs, definitely. Customize your recipes almost as if you were doing an Indochino suit. Uh, <laughs> each week... Based upon your preferences, Blue Apron or Blapron has several delivery options so you can choose what fits your need. What do you what do you think this means? Because I, I have taken it to mean maybe you don't want it delivered every day. You want want it delivered once a week or maybe you need it. I don't know. Oh, I thought it was like they'll put it inside the front door or that, they'll hide maybe it, it in a bush. Yeah. <laughs> They'll hide it. Then they'll make a scavenger hunt. Oh, out of I it. would love it if it was. Look, we're going to deliver meals to your house. We're not going to tell you where they are. There, there's going to be clues. They're going to be on your property somewhere. <laughs> you got to find them. Have I told you about my new show, Property Intellectuals? <laughs> Wait. Bla oh, my God. Blapron.com sends you, you to, to blueapron.com. Blue they thought They are 12 steps ahead. Oh, chestnut checkers. Blapron. Chestnut checkers. <laughs> Is that playing checkers with chestnuts? I think so. Oh, if you want to order chestnut checkers from Blue Apron, they're you delicious. Know what? We should have a game, Chess Curse. The best of both worlds. Which is playing chess with checkers or checkers with chess? I don't care. Either. It's so I fun. don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Wait, what is that? I don't care. Oh, it's uh, the you're, fugitive. Yeah, but you're doing Bill Clinton. I don't care. What if- <laughs> I don't care. That's up to that woman. Bill Clinton was in The Fugitive. I think it might go a little, a little something, something like, like this. this. I don't care. I, I didn't sleep with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. It depends on what the definition of is is. <laughs> Each meal comes with a step-by-step, easy-to-follow recipe card that you can keep, by the way. You're not forced by law to throw these away. You can keep are they, it. Are they laminated? No, but you can, if you have a laminator. Are they nice? Is it nice cardstock? It's nice cardstock. They're beautiful cards. You're going to love these. <laughs> Laminate it, and then you don't even need Blue Apron after that. You can just keep the recipe card. Oh, shit. If I you want, so, right? If you want to eat that every single meal. If not, right. you got to get Blaper in right. because they have a bunch of different meals each time. Yeah. Each meal prepared in 40 minutes or less. Check out this week's menu and get $30 off your first meal with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash CBB or go to Blapron because it'll direct you. There you go. You will love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home-cooked meals with Blue Apron, so do not wait. That is Blapron, a.k.a. blueapron.com slash CBB. <sighs> CBB is the code that BF you need. BFT. Nope. Blapron, <laughs> a better way to cook. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back. Scott Ackerman here, and uh, we have one of my favorite guests of all time. Thank uh, you very Slow much. Slow Pesci is here. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, just in the half hour that we've spoken. I feel like uh, yeah, I feel like I wish I never had a, this Joe brother. I wish I had a Scott brother, you know? Uh, that is true. Yeah, I feel Why don't we team up against this guy okay, over here? let's do it. You're handsome, yeah. by the way. That, thank you, you so know, much. You a nice face on him. This freaking asshole over here, the grizzly man. <laughs> the grizzly man. Bring, bring it. <laughs> we have Werner Herzog over there. 
Uh, is that what people call you, the grizzly man himself? Some people call me the grizzly man himself, yes. You know how when, like, Edie Falco was on the Emmys, uh, people, would of course. people would say, like, <laughs> Nurse Jackie herself, Edie Falco. Oh, yeah. Who were these people that said The announcer this? when they were introducing her, presenting or whatever. Uh, I always uh, used to think like put your name in the title or put your character's name in the title because then people know you know exactly you know they go hey Nurse Jackie but you're like Grizzly Man. Um, I suppose uh, I can see why people say this because uh, it's a film that I made and that was the title and the title seems to be a man and uh, I am a man so I understand why people would say hey Grizzly Man but uh, it is uh, not quite accurate because uh, there was a fellow in the film who was referred to as the Grizzly Man. Who called him that? I haven't seen this film. Uh, I did when I entitled the film Grizzly Man. <laughs> So you think just titling something? It's about a man who hangs out with grizzlies. Is so, it uh, now? Wow, this sounds incredible. Oh, you ever seen it? Still not going to watch it, I don't he, think. He's bonkers, that thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Scott, listen to me. Yeah. You must see this film. Really? Do not destroy it. <laughs> destroy the film? Do not. Oh, okay. You must always see this film. Always see this film? <laughs> Okay, I'll I'll go home and watch it right this away. This is a fun reference I'm doing. Okay, I thought it must be a reference because, but then again, I don't get everything. Oh, so you're allowed to do references on this thing? <laughs> oh, no, you're not allowed. You're saying oh, you have your good days and your bad days. <laughs> <laughs> That's a reference. My reference ometer is tingling. Um, we have Werner Herzog here, uh, former film director. Hello. Uh, Why am I? If I'm well, not you said, a former you said you're on a break. Director. I'm taking it. Yes, it's you're uh, on sabbatical. It's a hiatus. Sure, but um, do you, I mean, uh, what if you never ever make a film again? At what point can we call you a former film director? Uh, if I never make a film ever again. So uh, on the day of your death, that's when we're allowed to call you a former film director? Pro provided I have, well, certainly whether I do make another film or not on the day of my death, you may refer to me as a former filmmaker, also a former human being. Right. Now, what if you were in the middle of making one? Can, do we always have to call you a current filmmaker after uh, you die? Yes. It, if the f if I continue somehow to work on the film, and that includes if I have left behind extensive notes that would take uh, an eternity to execute, then mm -hmm. uh, I would be referred to as a f as a current, current filmmaker. filmmaker. Or if you're a ghost who is haunting the editing room. I hope that if uh, I am a ghost uh, haunting an editing room that uh, an exorcist will come and will uh, dispel me from that because I cannot imagine a worse hell. <laughs> Editing rooms are not fun, are they? It's for the people that like to edit uh, are weirdos, and uh, they have made their choice in life, and uh, I don't know why I should be condemned uh, to be there for their terrible life choices. Do you think you were a good person here on Earth? Uh, I think I was uh, entirely neutral. Uh, I brought... Uh, some things to the world. I took very little, uh, and when I die, uh, it uh, I will be in a state of nothingness and will not be able to reflect on uh, what I have, uh, uh, how how I have impacted uh, anyone's lives. So, do you think that you, when you say you took very little, how much do you eat per day? I eat. Uh, one shake in the morning. <laughs> okay. One at lunch. Wait, are you on Nutrisystem? Then I have a sensible dinner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I can imagine a lifetime of that maybe equals all of your films. So you'd be at, at zero. You'd be at neutral. You're saying what I take from the world in terms of the two shakes and the sensible dinner. Right. Uh, what I give equals what I give back, which is the my body of work. Your body of work over the course of my life. Also, do your shits count? You know what I mean. I mean, do the do, like yeah. you're giving the earth your shits. I guess you leave you know? a lot of stuff behind. All kinds of fluids and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. There must be a, I mean. You get your hair cut, you leave your hair behind. That's you know? true. Do you think, when you think about we're leaving cells behind and all the bugs that are crawling around on our face constantly, we're leaving those behind? Yeah, hey, that's true. So, you know, somebody told me recently, I don't think it's true, but somebody told me recently that when Bob Marley died, he had like 15 different species of bugs in his hair. <laughs> That's a real fact that somebody Who told, told you me. That? And I was like, is that true? I, I don't even know where to fucking begin looking that up. Is this like an entomologist? Is it entomologist or etymologist? Which en one is the bugs? En entomologist. And is it, yeah, was it an entomologist so. or was it just a I guy? I think it was an entomologist. Who told you this? His name's uh, Johnny Entomologist. <laughs> oh, okay. 15 different species. That's what somebody told me. And I looked at them like, that sounds like something I would say. 
<laughs> was it? Do you do you know? Was it one of each species? As if yeah, they were having different kinds. So was it like a moth, a dragonfly, <laughs> moth, a uh, dragonfly, a uh, juniper bug? Uh, I don't even know if that's a thing. Firefly, but it's, uh, Jerusalem, sort of firefly, Jerusalem cricket, water pistol bug. You know, they, one of them uh, cockroach, cockroach things. Yeah. yeah. But somebody told me that I was blown away by that. Wow, fact. that's I incredible. Hope it's true. It's a little racist. I have to say. You think so? <laughs> yeah. I didn't even go there. I just thought it was more of a. F- I mean, you know, should we really be casting aspersions on a dead person's hairstyle? I, I think I don't, you don't clean your hair. Yeah, right? that's but, how you get them, right? The dreadlocks. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, it may be more complicated than that. Yeah, I don't. Slow know. Use a cream of some kind. A salve. So, uh, do you think you've been a good person? Slow? Oh, no. No. no yeah, I mean, you no, were a hit no. man. I took lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I'm a good person as far as, like, you know, you open the door for me, I'll say thank you. You know, mm-hmm. you, 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 uh, you, someone looks like they're in distress, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll give them a hand. You know, I let somebody come in front of me in the line. They got a, only a couple little things, and I got a whole cart. But you've killed many yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, No, I've killed people. Who are some of the people you've killed? Oh, boy. Let's see. Leonard Nimoy. Uh, Leonard Nimoy yeah. from Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> He did wow. not die of uh, natural causes. Nah, I mean, that's what uh, that's what I want you to think. But well, no, no longer. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> How did I mean? Was that was that in the neck as well? Yeah, I came up right behind him and I gave him a little Vulcan neck pinch. Uh, oh, a really? little too hard this time. <laughs> Wait, so did you intend for it to be? No, I was a fan. So. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is not a contract. No, this was not a hit. He don't have AOL. <laughs> this is like when people used to punch Houdini in the stomach because yeah, they, they were such big fans. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. how ironic. Yeah, I said, Leonard Nimoy, shut the fuck up. You directed Two Men and a Baby, right? Is that what you know him from yeah, primarily? It's my favorite thing he's ever done. Why? What else has he done? What do you think about that ghost in it? That, oh gosh, that ghost. spooky, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a scary movie. Turn Shut that on this Halloween. Boy. I Ooh. think he also directed Baby Boom. I think he might have. He <laughs> loves directing anything. With anything babies, with a baby. Anything, like, anything right? with a baby. With babies and or ghosts. Look who's talking. Yeah, look he who's was talking. Hollywood's foremost baby director. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Dunstan checks in. Oh, yeah. Monkey baby. He, go, he Dirty ghost directed. Dirty dance. <laughs> he ghost. <laughs> He ghost directed all of those, which he got the idea from two men or three men and a baby. How many men were in this? I think it's uh, two and a half men and a baby. <laughs> it's a shame when something comes out that two and a half men now, yeah, you yeah, think yeah. of that when you think of men it instead of three men sh- and, a, and a baby. I was going to say, it truly is a shame that game. Now. I was <laughs> thinking young Sheldon and a baby. Yeah. Oh, what do I you like, think of that young Sheldon? I like that new show, Fat Sheldon with Bobby Boyden. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it would be twice as popular <laughs> if it were called that? <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> I do, too. Uh, well, we're here, of course, with uh, – and, and we've all become fast friends. Can we admit that? Yeah, yes. I love you. The I three musketeers. You guys. I love <laughs> Who's yeah. D'Artagnan? I get to be that bored, be though. Sam? D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan. Is that what how did you say the first time? He was the fourth – he was. Uh, it, 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 it's kind of rude to not call that book the Four Musketeers. I think there was perhaps a sequel, mm. uh, where the, he was uh, a full musketeer. <laughs> there was a squeakle <laughs> where D'Artagnan was uh, made a full musketeer. But he was. Uh, the original three were uh, Athos, Porthos, and uh, Aramis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they don't talk about that when you eat the candy bar. They. They don't talk about that no. when you eat the candy bar. Almost nobody does. <laughs> Almost nobody. You would think you'd go into liquor stores around the world, someone would be biting into one of those, and someone would go, you know, the original Musketeers were Athos, Porthos. I, I got to say, every time I'm in a liquor store, <laughs> I'm chomping down on the three Musketeers, <laughs> yes. and nobody comes over and says anything. I don't understand it. Something, uh, something about liquor stores uh, <laughs> makes me crave nougat. <laughs> Is it weird that when I think of Three Musketeers, I automatically flash back to the liquor store where I would go and buy one as a treat as a child all the time? As a child in a liquor store? Well, well certainly. As a, more of a uh, Kmart-type liquor store. No, I think that's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where that's I would wonderful. get my comic books. <laughs> That's a, this is a dope liquor store. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, hey, I, it was the 70s, as Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Weinstein, rather. Hey, good friend, good friend. <laughs> Wait, good friend really of yours? good friend of mine. Oh, no. I love that guy. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no, he's a sweetheart. No. Yeah. He's not, no. A lot of, yeah, have you read the papers recently? Uh, I can't read. You can't read? Nah, oh, read. okay. Well, yeah, my he's... eyes don't work too good. Oh. Yep, I can only read the s- bottoms of the pages. Do you have slow eyes, oh, really? What? I'm sorry. They were a little slow. Watch, look, watch can me. You, up, watch can me can you follow my finger? Whoa, that was slow. Yeah, it was All real right. slow. Follow my finger. Here we go. Ready? Right. 
Oh, boy. Oh, no, no, no. Wow. He got I'm, stuck. I've been waving it back and forth, and yeah, you are just no, stuck. I can't looking stuck on the one thing. side. No, you got racehorse you said, fingers over there. You said you can only read the bottom of the newspaper? <laughs> yeah, because by the time I get to the top, I'm too tired. <laughs> you, My eyes wait, are you doing it Chinese yeah. style? Yeah, well, how do you read it? <laughs> uh, well, I'm sorry. Do your, do your eyelids open from the fucking top? So you're below. Might open from the bottom. You're below the fold. Interesting. You read below the fold. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so now you've never seen some of the biggest headlines ever in the history of the world then, I would think. Do you uh, know, like, what is your sense of, of general knowledge about uh, current events and past events? Uh, lots of like- And, and future and events. this is what this person, this is what this witness said. <laughs> right, so you have a lot of witnesses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of conclusions. A lot of kickers. Yeah, a lot of like, and that's the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> More <laughs> articles should end on that. <laughs> Yeah, like an old timey news report. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like morally safer. <laughs> Love that guy. Dude, what a couple of words to put next to each other. Morally, morally safer. Safer. Yeah. I know it's morally, but it sounds like a Star Wars name almost. <laughs> it does, it doesn't it? Like yeah. just bad enough, or like a Slytherin, like Harry Potter yeah, name. Yeah. My friend Dennis told me once. <laughs> he says to me, "You know what the most Star Wars name in the world is?" I said, "What?" Is it? He said, "Mavis Leno," and I <laughs> laughed. Oh boy, that Who's I this Dennis guy? Dennis, Dennis, McNicholas. Dennis McNicholas. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we have a bu bunch of cool dudes. He's one of those suit guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like those He's suit a good guys. Guy. <laughs> well, Werner, I have a pitch for you. You're a current film director. That's correct. And you will be until you die. Yes. Uh, assuming you are still working on something. You may die in the next couple of days, in which case you would be a former I film director. I may die in the next couple of minutes. Yeah, what, mm -hmm. you, what's your uh, AIM, by the way? <laughs> No, 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 Is that kidding. why you came here? Nah. Did, nah, did someone to, put a hit out on? Nah, I came here to bust a piss. I'm just curious. What's, uh, what's uh, your, uh, your uh, AIM, though? Can, uh, slow, slow, Pesh, you seem to have uh, many different stories as to why you come to be here in the Earwolf Studios at present. I don't think uh, that's true. It, you said it's to bust a piss. It's, uh, yeah, I you said it's to, to uh, launch some sort of career. Well, but I mean, that's a, that's a B story at best. <laughs> uh, I worry that uh, your true purpose here is more sinister than you have let on. Uh, come on, what are, you, what are you talking about? Yeah, I don't, I don't explosive. What, yeah. Uh, who told you about the Earwolf Studios here? Why, uh, Why, I mean, everybody, the word on the street, everybody's talking about it. People on the street. Yeah, well, you, walk, you, you walk down Hollywood Boulevard, <laughs> everyone's like, Earwolf, Howell, Earwolf, you know, they're always. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm sort of with Werner here. I mean, we've been getting along so oh, you well. Are. But at this point now, wait, what's, uh, what's I might your, have to change allegiances. What's your, uh, wait, 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 wait. What's your AIM? What's my AIM? Slow, 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 uh, slow. Slower? Pesci, Slower? Would you, what? Would you, it's like a taxi. <laughs> would you, uh, would you excuse us for one moment? We have to have a, uh, a We're going to quickly go over here. You can join us very slowly if you like, but we're. Uh, it's going to take me a while. Yeah, it's going to take you a while. Yeah. My legs so are we'll, weird. We will walk over at normal pace to the other side of the room. And yeah, you, sure. I'll just be hanging out over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No okay. sweat. No sweat. All right. Here we go. Uh, say, Werner, I'm starting to suspect that, uh, slow Pesci. Pesci. I want to say slow Joey. Yes, I do too, for some reason. <laughs> for some weird reason. Yes. <laughs> but it's slow Pesci. <laughs> it's slow Pesci. It's I'm a different guy. I'm a different because, guy. Wait, can you hear just, us? Just I, no, moment. I just heard, I, heard, I thought you said slow Pesci, so I came over. Oh, you're here already. God, we got, we got to move qu quicker. Move I right, didn't walk that far away. away. Right, Sorry, I'll walk farther away this All time. Right. So, so, Werner. Yes. I think what it is is that there's a fellow named Joe Pesci, mm. and uh, his name is Slow Pesci, but uh, it's the Joe <laughs> it's the that Joey. you want to follow. But there's some uh, reference to Slow Joey that I'm that's in the back of my mind wonder, for some reason. I wonder I if I want to say Slow Joe Pesci. <laughs> <laughs> we could say Slow Joe Pesci if you want, but it seems almost harder to say. Than also, slow. Yes, I don't want to misrepresent. As a side conversation. Oh, oh, shit, he's here. He's All right, let's, go, let's get away. So close. All right, let's get away even quicker. <laughs> So as a, as, a, as a side conversation, yes. I feel like slow -bashy. That was definitely the main conversation. Oh, yes. That was definitely is, what we wanted to say. This is now the side conversation. Okay, this is the side one. I feel like I, let, let's, I feel as if we are on the same page. Why don't we at the count of three, we will yes. say at the same time what we think. Okay. Okay. One, one two, two, 
three. I think Slow Pesci is, is here, here to, to murder, murder us. us. I was going to say one of us, but then you said us. He asked for both of our AIM handles. Do you think that he... He's here to murder both of us? That, that never even crossed my mind. So I it's like a twofer? I, it could be a I wonder two if he gets paid for one. What day of the week is it? Uh, it's Tuesday. Oh. oh, my God. It's two for Tuesday. It's two for Tuesday. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. He's here. Oh, you oh. Know, it also could be double <laughs> shot go. Tuesday. Oh, that's true. All right. Uh, Sounds um, even worse. Yeah, right. I had to go. I had a little conversation go. Went oh, we well. didn't have, really have a conversation. We, we were just walking. We were taking a walk. You didn't because you look like you were having a conversation. You look a little scared there. You mm, also look like you were talking at the same time. I think time. we were Might both. Have flapped uh, the gums a little yes, bit. Yes, we were guarding against uh, lockjaw. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's good. Doing our exercises. Yeah, you know. I was just over here busting a piss, just being slowy, Joey you were, Pesci over here. You seem to have a bit of a bladder problem. I, all I do is drink water. <laughs> <laughs> what an odd delivery. Yeah, you, I, you die. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think so too. I thought that too. I stopped and then I said a word. Water. <laughs> and you waggled your eyebrows yeah, up I and love down. that shit. Yeah, amazing. Say so, Pesci. Yeah. I, we have a couple of concerns. Yeah, I had a couple of questions that I asked you that you still haven't answered yet, but what are your concerns? It seems to be the same question, but directed at both of us separately. Yeah, yeah well, All right. still a couple of questions. There's two questions. I, it might be the same, but slow, they were a couple. Slow, slow Pesci, I'd like to ask you a question. I hope <laughs> I can uh, rely on uh, your the truthfulness. The kindness of strangers. Mm -hmm. You can always rely on that. That goes without saying. Yeah. <laughs> always. I always assume... I hope I can rely on the kindness of strangers. Certainly, certainly. But uh, I do hope that you will be honest with me when answering my query. Yeah, I'm a straight shooter. Complete candor. That's yeah, what sure. we require of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no uh, uh, prevarications, no, uh, no dodging, the bush. no beating around the bush. Are you here to murder us? Yes. I barely even finished asking he, the question. He, it was like he really wanted to it's tell us. the fastest he's ever done anything was wow. answer that question. That's incredible. Wait, I'm sorry. I actually just answered a question from hours earlier. Oh, wait. Are all of your answers from questions? Pretty much. I'm slow. <laughs> you're on, you're on like tape delay? <laughs> yeah. So sometimes, you know, when I got to think about something, it don't come out till a couple hours later. Somebody asked me the other day. They were like, hey, you ever have a Brussels sprout? And I was like, so that... You were answering that answering when you said yes. that question because, yes, I love those things. Okay. Now, Do what you, was your question? Is there – there must be a way to bypass the the queue of answers to the questions. Like a thing so in that, an elevator where you can press a secret button and it bypasses the floors? <laughs> exactly, yes. The express <laughs> – if we could get the express answers, uh, is there some way uh, that we could do this, that we can achieve this? In fact, there is. There is. And now I don't know if he's answering the question I yeah. just asked or if he's answering another Did vegetable based question. Did someone ask you a, yeah, something different about eggplant or? Yeah, a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now, is that the answer to the I question saw, you just asked? I think it may be about when he ate the said Brussels sprout. Yeah, I was talking to Jay Davidson and he was like. <laughs> Jay Davidson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you were talking to Jay Davidson? From the crying game? From the crying game, yeah. I have other friends who. Oh, yeah? No, Jay Davidson. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, not really friends. That's weird. I do they, know do Jay they also like the murder people. Or? Uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. I only know Jay Davidson really from uh, Stargate. Yeah, I was a huge Stargate head. Really, SG. SG one. I SG1? didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I liked the movie. I liked the original series. Not so much Stargate Atlantis. Mm, right. Yeah. Is that because it was underwater or yes? <laughs> Too much nature. <laughs> It's You're all around sick of you. it at this point, right? <laughs> I'm the grizzly sick of, man. You're sick I'm of nature, sick right? of it. <laughs> Enough already. Enough. It's so stupid. So, so you know, you were talking to Jay Davidson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, what about eggplant? And then the answer just came out right there. Did he was, was he the same person who asked you about the Brussels sprout? Yeah. <laughs> Did he mention anything about his own personal eggplant? <laughs> Because the, that's the uh, famous one. His yeah, you know the one that emoji from the movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah the eggplant that's emoji. That guy exactly. ever fucking talks about. Are you kidding me? Did the quick sidebar, fellows? Sure. That between all of us. <laughs> did the eggplant emoji appear in the emoji movie? <laughs> <laughs> and did they make like knowing winking jokes about God, it? And did that change so, right? the rating of the film? Yeah, with the little water squirt right in. Yeah, after right it. next to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that's where they went wrong. <laughs> The only yeah, part I that went so. wrong. 
Um, I'm going to go see it today. Yeah, so, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and thus ends our side conversation. Let's get back to the regular back one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To answer your question. Yeah, how do we how do we bypass the and get to the head of the queue? Maybe if you would state the question that you are answering, and then we would know which question is being answered. That's a yes, great system. How do you mean? I'm, I feel like he's answering <laughs> Jay yes. Davidson's questions exactly. again. I wish we knew how long this conversation sorry, with Jay, Jay Davidson, Davidson went on. Asked me how to get to a Best Buy, and I didn't understand what he meant. You didn't understand Best Buy? No, or, and I said, hey, you mean? Or why a big a star best. like him would be. Well, I don't know why he's got to go to a Best Buy. <laughs> needing I mean? discounts. Yeah, exactly. Maybe he wants a great deal on a big screen TV. Yeah, get yourself over to like you know a nicer place, you know, not like Best Buy. You know? Right, yeah. What's, okay. what's a step up from Best Buy? I mean, Bristol no Farms. City. I mean, what's his name? <laughs> Bristol Farms. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Where of you, just things to buy? I, yeah. <laughs> I meant electronics, but now I want to. <laughs> so uh, we, we're wondering, and we're wondering how we're ever going to find this out. We're wondering if you are he- here to murder us because, uh, frankly. Uh, Scott. Yes. What if we were to write something on the bottom of a piece of paper and then have him write the answer? Oh, now we're talking. that's a good idea. It do you might wa- be more immediate. Okay, how do you want to do this? Do you want to... I want to take a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> good. That's a great start. <laughs> right right on the bottom of yeah, it. How do we like choose exactly who's going to... what gonna- you just said. Now you're just explaining it. Yeah. Well, more. Well, who gets to choose who's going to write what, though? Are you? Do you want to... Well, first, we, uh, Slow Pesci. Yes. I almost said Slow Joey again. Would you please excuse us? You call Slowy Joey if you want. Slowy Joey. Slowy Joey. <laughs> sure, why not? Do you, do, will you excuse us for a second? Uh, yes. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. This room is so long. <sighs> All right. Okay. What question? We should ask him the question, uh, who sent you to murder us? Right. Or, or, or does he get paid for two? That's why. Well, I, I'm really interested in that. I feel as if we uh, must find out why this is happening. Perhaps we should ask him a question like, will you please not murder us? Oh, that's a great question. What if he says no and then murders us? That's that's the fear. We'll say, will you please not murder us, parentheses, you can't say no. (laughs) (laughs) Look— I'm willing to try. It's it. worth a try. It's worth a try. Okay, okay. so here's a piece of paper. Obviously, Thank you. Uh, Obvious, uh, obviously, here's a piece of paper. All right, <laughs> very soft. Why did you crumple it up? <laughs> What's with all this thin paper? <laughs> very soft, thin Sorry. paper. Okay. Oh no, he's caught up with us. He'll let it run away again. <laughs> Will you? Well, I have, I was writing while I ran, and now I've smeared. Oh no! The question. What does it say now? It says, will you please murder us? Oh, no. Well, let's give it to him. Why? (laughs) Just to see what would happen? I feel as if you have just caved too soon. (laughs) Let's tear that one up then. Let's tear it. Give me another piece of paper. Another piece of that thin paper that (laughs) I love so much. Will you please not murder us? Parentheses. Parentheses. Yes, you, thank you. Okay, I just want to make sure you, you cannot, remember that part. You, you cannot, cannot say no, no end parentheses, parentheses, question, question mark. mark. Yes, perfect. Right. Let's okay. run back over. Okay. Hey, hey. Hey, what's going on? Slow magic. Uh, Slowy um, Joey, we have, a, uh, we have a piece of paper with a question on it for you. We have thoughtfully put the question at the bottom, and uh, here is a pen. You can write your answer down. Thank you very much. That's a nice pen. Thank you. It's like a $3,000 pen. It was a gift from Klaus Kinski. Really? He wow. gave you a pen? Yes, in my in my heart. It nearly killed me. Oh, okay. He, he stabbed, stabbed you, you in the heart with that thing? For my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. No statute of limitations on happy birthday. <laughs> nope. That never is. 365 days a year. Yep. All right. Do you want to read that piece of paper? That, uh, no? Would you? Uh, no, okay. Please. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Wait, was he just answering another question from Jay Davidson? Who knows? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> but to answer your question, you'll hear that in a couple hours, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, okay. The answer. No, all right. Oh, all let's right. read this thing here. Let me throw on my readers. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the thickest, thickest yeah, glasses they're pretty I've thick. ever seen. Yeah, they are. Th- it's terrifying yeah. how thick they are. But there's these sunglasses actually, on the top. These are actually a windshield from a Cessna. Oh, my God. Thing, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The you technology. Can, I can burn through an ant with these things. Wow. 
Yeah, you probably, you probably can. Right we can do that with a lot of things, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me just read this right here. <clears throat> He's reading. He's reading. He's reading. He's reading. He's We've done it. We, well, he's really reading it. Let's not start sucking each other's dicks just yet. <laughs> oh, God, Werner. Oh, no, guys, please feel I free. Love, I love cinema. <laughs> guys, please feel free if you want. By the way, that I don't mind. I'm I, that stuff is fine with me. Okay. All right. Let's check it out. See a little parentheses. Eh? <laughs> oh, thank God, he read the parentheses. He's into the parentheses. Oh, good. Okay. Hey, All right. All red. Thank you. All red. Hey, would you uh, uh, be so kind as to write your your answer on the on the piece well, of paper? Yeah, sure. With this beautiful pen here. Yes, yes. Yes. beautiful pen. And then we'll read that, and then we'll know exactly. Then we'll know. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let me just write the answer now. All right. He's writing. It's it's good what that we do. came up with that <laughs> thing <laughs> where he can't say no. <laughs> that is, that was perfect, Werner. <laughs> I gotta say that was a plus. Fold it up. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, it's even thinner now that it's folded oh, somehow. Can you slide it across. You know the you can't table, fold a paper eight? more than six times in half. I thought it was eight. Was it eight? Okay, might so, but you can. I mean, you, you can. You'd be stupid you're, to try. You're allowed. You'd be stupid yeah, to try. Allowed. Yeah, you'd be dumb to try. It's like Drake trying to drink a gallon of milk. So everyone just gets embarrassed after eight. Oh God! You once you hit that seven, you're like, what am I doing? What am I fucking life? doing? Just because I heard this fact, folding a piece of what paper, am I I'm trying go drink to drink a gallon of milk, and then halfway through that, they're like, I'm a freaking idiot. What am I doing? I'm a waste. God, I'm afraid to open the paper. Will you look at it? Oh my God! Your hands are shaking. I'm I've trembling. Never seen, I've never seen you. Like I'm this. trembling like a leaf. All right. Okay. Let me uh, fold one. Why are you two. folding it further? Oh, I'm trying to get to eight. Nope, you can't. I'm, can't I'm too it. embarrassed. All right, let me unfold it. You're blushing. All right, seven, six, Beat five, right. four, three, Nose. two. <laughs> no, sorry, one. It was a close one. That was very close. All right. Uh, it's been a while since I heard that. Will it's you, been quite a while. Please not murder us, parentheses. You can't say yes. No, that is what, and uh, that was our question, <laughs> question to him. Mark. Yes, yes. And, and now then he has written his answer underneath. I'm going further down. <laughs> I. Hmm, that's a promising start. <laughs> Keep going, though. Will I write real slow too? I write so slow that you have to. <laughs> you read have to it read slow. it slow. Yeah. <laughs> I will. That's an even better start. Hmm, what's hmm. this word right after it? Not. I will not. Period. So the question was, will you please oh not murder us? You cannot say no. He didn't say no. He said, I will not. Does that mean I will not murder you? We need clarification. <laughs> Get another one of those thin pieces of paper. <laughs> All right, here we go. When you said that just now, it sounded like the robot from iRobot saying, I will not. Don't, die. please don't make fun of iRobot this I'm Christmas. Not. I love that freaking you, you can make fun of it now, but when it becomes Christmas time, please don't please make don't. fun of iRobot. Please I've don't. Never, please. Are you kidding me? All right. Here's another piece of paper. Okay. Be right. very, very clear. <laughs> the, the, please. Did, did you, oh, I thought we were, we were asking what, for clarification. Yes. What, what do you, how should please we clarif phrase? Please clarify if you oh, meant yes. you will murder us or. Please clarify. If you meant you will murder us or you will refrain from murdering us. Perfect. Parentheses, you can't say no? Parentheses, you can't say no. Okay, good. Perfect. All right. I'm going to fold this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm too embarrassed to go to eight. All I, right. I won't lie. I'm regretting that we put the parenthetical in there. <laughs> Maybe. I feel as if it may cause problems. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know. It's almost as confusing as a mnemonic device. <laughs> <laughs> almost. All right. Slow. Here's our note. Will you read? Will you, you open it up? Yeah, let me just unfold this right here. Yeah, here we go. And two. Seven, six, five, four. Three. Thank you for counting for me. No, and it's one. Here we go. All right. Nothing at the top of the page, I'm assuming. <laughs> so I'll start right here at the bottom. Yeah, my eyes is open. Mm hmm. Okay, a little parentheses there. That's throwing me off. <laughs> we thought it might. I told you. Oh, right. Damn it. Oh, he's, he's, he's this writing. Down right here. There he's we go. writing his hey, answer. Pass it right there back across the table there. He's folding. Okay, uh, let me unfold this. Um, what does it say? Seven, six, <clears throat> five, four, three, nose, one. Okay, our original question is there, of course. Of course. Which was... Uh, <laughs> Please, Please clarify. clarify, are you going, are you to, murder going to murder us, us or, or not? not. Parentheses, you cannot, you cannot say, say no. no. 
Boy, now that I think about it, oh, I man. really wish I hadn't put that parenthesis We fucked in up there. because you know what the answer is? What? Yes. I'm going to murder you. Or, yeah, yes, I will not murder you. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm just as confused as ever. God, I wish I could tell you the answer right now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> tell you what, you know what? We need to take a break, though. Yeah. Uh, Probably should. Do you think the break... Would How be enough time. Break? How long's a break? Breaks like five minutes, yeah, something that like that. Be enough time. Ooh, track twelve. Uh, <laughs> we need to take a break when we Finally, come back. Pesson. Thank you. Sorry. Slow, Pesci, <laughs> and Werner Herzog will be right back with us. I'm on the edge of my seat. This is suspenseful. This is going. I'm going crazy over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, we'll be right back with more comedy bang bang after this. <laughs> <laughs> Ding. ding dong. Is that what you're going to say? I know. I was going to say ding. <laughs> now boarding. Ding dong. Now, but what if you, when you got on a plane, oh, you somebody's to, at the airplane door. <laughs> what, if, what if to get on the plane, you had to, you had to ring a bell. Everyone. And the, and the everyone, <laughs> everyone that gets and the, the pilot plane. came out and looked through a people. It was yeah. like, who is it? <laughs> If 3B. That, if that happened once, I think it would be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> but if we had to do it every time, I wouldn't be happy. I don't think about anyone it. would fly ever again. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, that would be wonderful. Although I guess we've take we'd sit there and take our shoes off, not me. You never take your shoes off. No. I mean, you know, going through security. No, I mean in life you never take your shoes I've off. I've never taken my shoes off. Scott, you're missing so much. <laughs> you put you put your bare feet on the carpet and make fists with your feet. <laughs> that sounds so fun. I'm it, gonna do it tonight. It's great. Well, ding dong, Delta is here. Now boarding on Delta, guess what? And I'm going to be uh, partaking of this next week. Free messaging on Delta. I got oh, an email shit. about it the other day. Guess what? I, I have free messaging messaging on my flight you got on a, Delta. You got a sclusy email? I got a sclusy email about my flight next week. Free messaging. You don't have to be off the grid when you're in the air. Mm, I don't like being OTG. Uh, definitely when not. When I'm ITA. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to access, Paul. Stop complaining. It can't be. It is. You just go to the Wi-Fi portal, select free messaging pass on your next Delta flight. Mm -hmm. Bing, bong, boom. Uh, there it Scott, is. what's the catch? There's no catch. You can use iMessage, WhatsApp, and Facebook Messenger simply by logging into the in-flight Wi-Fi. And I bet Delta doesn't keep track of all of your personal info or anything like that. I didn't think about that until you said that. <laughs> <laughs> now, I like to get real sexual when I <laughs> message with, with people. With people on the plane? There's or? something in this <laughs> when I'm up in the sky. Yeah. Oh, I just get crazy. Mile High Club, baby. One way. Um, <laughs> one way? <laughs> one way Mile High Club. What does that mean? Yeah, I'll tell you off air. Oh, okay. Hey, Paul, so anyway, yeah, what it means what is, it? is that you would... Oh, wait, no, we're still on the air. <laughs> I didn't turn it off. You didn't say off mic. That's true. Um, so this is great because how many times are you on the plane and you don't want to spring for Wi-Fi? Every time. Wi-Fi is expensive on flights. It's hugely expensive. And the only reason is because you, you want to know if something happens yeah. on, on the air. So now what you- I want to know if something happens on the air. Now it's free messaging. You can get all of your messages say, hey, don't send me any emails. I'm accessible through text. Freebies. Everything you need to know. And you make people tell you what's going on on the ground. Yeah. And who knows if they're unreliable narrators, but you'll find that out when you land. Well, not my friends. I hope not. Mm -hmm. Delta Airlines is committed to constantly improving every aspect of the travel experience. Just seems like yesterday so we were I. allowed to turn Big our deal. phones on. <laughs> Wait, you've been doing this? <laughs> yeah, I'm dedicated to that. Wow. I do, do you do? I'm, I'm not saying Delta isn't. I'm just saying, Delta, you're not the only ones who are dedicated to perfecting the travel Have experience. Have you done one thing to perfect the travel experience? I... I, 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 I'm not on trial here. <laughs> yes, you are. What, and I? you're under oath. Why are you wearing that wig? Podcast oath. <laughs> Put oath. Um, I haven't done anything, but haven't I done think anything. about it all I the time. It. I knew it. Well, they have done it because they have created free messaging on Delta Airlines. And, uh, and with free messaging on Delta, you have no reason to stop the conversations you're having on the ground when you get in the clouds. There's no reason. What if I'm mad? Okay, then you shouldn't be texting angry. So you're right. Ooh, you got me. Stop then. But if you're happy, and if you want a little, you know, something from the wife down yeah, uh, down below. Right? Sexy tech. Sexy tech. That's what, that's what Delta is all about. Sexy tech. Now, am I allowed to show these sexts to my seatmate? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Especially because we do a lot of traveling together. 
And You're telling me. You're telling me. <laughs> you don't want to see this sexy text. All right, I'll see one. <laughs> Delta, get that free messaging, baby. What a weird slogan. It is weird, <laughs> but that's what it says. <laughs> Earwolf, more like fear wolf, right? Get ready to quake in your headphones because Earwolf podcasts are getting a little extra spooky this October. This is freaking me out. I'm sorry, are you... I don't mean to. I, I, I'm not even doing a spooky voice or anything. Uh, just the idea oh. that things are getting spooky. Just the idea that podcasts could get in your ear holes and be spooky. It's the it, right in your ear holes. It's the one place where I feel safe. <laughs> exactly. Imagine like you know you've heard of those worms who go into your ears and then they wrap themselves yeah. around the medulla uh-huh. oblongata. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, <laughs> you love those. Do you I have one? Love. I have several. No wonder you act the way you act. <laughs> I've always wondered. Oh. You might be onto something. <laughs> well, this would be like a ghost getting in there and wrapping itself around there. That I do not like. Mm-hmm. No. Uh-uh-uh, girl. <laughs> Listen to How Did This Get Made, The Canon, <laughs> and Cracked Movie Club dissect spine-tingling horror classics crack- all month long. Why don't you do a crack noise? Cracked. <laughs> That's the egg sizzling on the pan. Oh, specifically an egg being cracked. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, watch out I for- I thought it was the glass ceiling. Whatever. Finally? No. <laughs> not with this president. And uh, sorry to get sorry. Sorry. Nothing but respect for my president. <laughs> Oprah? Yep. <laughs> Holding up a picture of Oprah. Um watch out for special spooktacular episodes of Gilbert Gottfried's Amazing Colossal Podcast, the Cracked Podcast. <laughs> And who charted, or should I say, who farted? Why? <laughs> um, we're doing a Comedy Bang Bang uh, Halloween episode. We do one every year, I think. Uh, follow along on social media with hashtag Fearwolf so you don't miss any Halloween action. Babu. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. To you, E. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back. Uh, Werner Herzog is here, Hi. and uh, Slow Pesci, who's just been pissing the entire break. Oh, that was nice. I'm finally drained the old lizard there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The main vein. Yeah, the main vein. The, yeah. the, the, the angle of my dangle. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you. Uh, we asked uh, look, 100 people. <laughs> <laughs> Top five answers on the board. Helens agree. <laughs> We got the oven mitts on. It's 20 extra helens. <laughs> Is it really? Yes. Damn, you, you can never get enough of them, right? Um, <laughs> we, but look, enough These of the, the notes. I know. <laughs> enough of the notes back and forth. We're, we're yeah, really, that was getting, that was, uh, we're really yeah. trying we're, to just we're get. We're adults, you know what exactly. I mean? We're adults. We're, we're, we need a we simple like answer. Grab ass in third grade over here. Werner and I are in fear of our lives. Yes. Uh, well, what, I, because I, of me? Well, yes. I'm, I'm presuming oh, yeah, because I said I'm a you. That's correct. Yeah. Now, can I ask you a side question here? Just of a little course. thought I had to Scott, break. Scott, will, ex- will you excuse us, please? Is that, I, Scott, will you run away for a little bit? I guess I'll run away, yeah, because that you guys would wouldn't be, be fast simplest, enough yes. to, yeah, okay, here we well, go. Well, I would be. <laughs> how you doing? Uh, Fine. What, how may I help Level you? Level with me here. Yes. Ah! <laughs> he fell down into a cavern. <laughs> no, it's the Doppler effect. <laughs> Oh, he's running around oh, he's the room. he's running around the room. So the Dobbler effect. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> he's fast. I call Lewis fast. I don't know why he's screaming. He runs though. like as fast as my leopard brother, Joe Pesci. Ming, 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 ming. Oh, now he's on a train. He's faster than a train. <laughs> we shoot a bullet and see if he's faster than us. Oh, 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 dear. <laughs> ming, 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 ming. Oh, no, he's about the same, same, same speed. Let me ask you a question. Yes. If I were, let's just hypothetical here. If I were to kill Scott... Mm. With a gun and audio tape it. Yes. So you would hear and videotape it. And so you would see off camera him being killed. And would you actually listen to the audio of this, much like Grizzly Man, where you did not listen? Oh, that's why that's for you review. <laughs> Uh, well, in in, Gris, in Grizzly Band, it's uh, apparently only I can recall um, the girlfriend of the Grizzly Man had the recording yeah. uh, of uh, Timothy Treadwell's final moments as he's being mauled by a grizzly bear. And um, she wanted to know if she should listen to it. So I listened to it for her. And my advice to her was never to listen to it because why would you? <laughs> um, okay, so, so let me rephrase the question. Yes. Would you make Kula cool listen to it? Yeah. I I mean, 
I would have to listen to it first to determine if she should not listen to it. This Grizzly Man tape, it was terrible to listen to, but if you shot Scott, it might be kind of funny. I don't know. I wouldn't know until I heard it, whether or not it was uh, worth uh, uh, his widow listening to. Oh, hey guys, I'm, 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 I, I you, can't run anymore. You ran quite a distance around the room. I, I'm only as fast as Joe Pesci. I'm only running like well, 60 I mean, miles an yeah, hour. That's like 60, 70, 80 miles an hour right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but didn't I, conserve your oxygen very well with that screaming oh. <laughs> and train noises. <laughs> yeah. It's fun for me. Plus, you were just eating like clam chowder that whole time. <laughs> yeah, that's a well. weird thing to do when you're running, you know? Oh, look, what are you guys talking your about? Your makeup looks crazy. <laughs> My podcast makeup? You yeah, should, hair's all a must. You should have slowed down to a standstill. I think, to I think put I got some birds on. in my mouth, too. Well, I don't have a windshield. <laughs> yeah, there's some in there. You're covered in, <laughs> covered in bugs. <laughs> like a regular I, there's Bob like Marley over here. 15 <laughs> types of bugs on my face. God, Ooh. I hope that's true. Listen to me. A15. So let me ask you something here. Yeah. You what, can ask me anything. What's your AIM? <laughs> my AIM. What's, it, your, what's your handle? Where, where you go, by? Uh, I'm Scotty's Scott. Little... What? I beg of you not to give Slopesh your AIM handle. What? I don't. Uh, I don't know why. I'm sorry to break your confidence, oh, Slopesh. Oh you, you double cross me over here. You... <laughs> Slopeshi did indicate to me in uh, very strong terms I did know his intention to kill you and uh, is, record is, your dying right. moments and have me play them for your widow Kulap. Verna, you're killing me over here. This is that a is... reference to something? What? <laughs> Skip it. <laughs> that shouldn't be your main concern. Yeah, look, we're almost done here. We're just... <laughs> but I, can I, you... You want to murder me and not him? I don't, I don't want to murder nobody. You know what I mean? If I could do, well, you know what I want to do? I want to sit on a boat, watch my stories. That's what I what want. What are your to stories? Do. Uh, you know, Guiding Light, Bold and the Beautiful, these things, you know. <laughs> I'm a big, big brother fan. <laughs> You're a big brother fan. Oh, uh, yeah, I love that thing. Well, we'll get into that. Do okay. you ever get uh, watch a duel at all? I'm sorry. Days of Our Lives. Oh, sure, oh. Sure, 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 sure. I thought you said Dune for a second. I thought it's a I was duel like, like Steven Spielberg's movie. It's many things to many people. Yeah, it is. But look, wait, I don't want to kill these people. Are you people? just here to look, murder anyone? Look, and you all I'm to... saying is a little tiny boy gives me a piece of paper and he says to me, kill this guy. And then what? I go do these things. Well, so on, that's all on. I'm doing. Hold what, on. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Little so tiny boy. Get this gun out over here and just start loading her up because I think we all know what the answer to my question is, even though you won't hear it. Thank much goodness like... he's loading it so slowly. Yeah, I, all right. Let me I, just get my six bullets out here. This should take about three fucking days. Scott, I can tell you that I, Werner Herzog, personally, do not know of any murderous Can you compact boy. this? I feel like even though he's really slow, you I don't just have finished. To say, <laughs> now oh, you're okay. admonishing me. <laughs> you talked over the very I end. I, Werner Herzog, I know who you are. Like, just right. we're, we're, we're under a time constraint here. He's loading a Certainly. gun. I, Werner Herzog, <laughs> that's <laughs> one, have no personal knowledge of a murderous little boy. I, I mean, it's r- faintly ringing a bell to me. I hear Jay Davidson. I hear murderous little boy, and I something in my brain is saying those two are connected. Um, the loading bullet number two. <laughs> only four more. I bet you feel bad about uh, harassing me about the time because look how slow he's going. <laughs> That's he true. Truly, is living up That's to true. his I sh- name. I should have let you just. It's okay. Luxuriated. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just needling you for fun. This is fun. Still we have a good time. Even though one or two. both of us may be. It sounds Dead like it would this. be you, I think. Although he doesn't know either of our aim names it's at this true. point. He maybe just has an aim name written down. It's, and it seems to be the magic talisman he needs in order to know whom to murder. Mm-hmm. What is your aim name, by the way? Very clever, but I will not tell you. Shouldn't we shorten it to name, N-A-I-M? Aim name just seems like a waste of time. <laughs> doesn't it? How many bullets yet? Uh, still at two. <laughs> still at two. Wow. Having a little trouble with and three. And that's three right there. Whoa. Do you know what I will miss about uh, AOL Instant Messenger, even though I have not used it in many years? What's that? The door opening noise, oh, which I, love I that. always enjoyed. It was so nice because it's like someone's here. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Or someone left. That was, no, that would there be was the door a door closing. closing noise, which always, that was, uh, it was sad. It's an ending. Shouldn't uh, a door opening noise and a door closing noise be the exact same noise? Technically, because it's the same thing. And that's bullet number four. I guess, I guess if you don't close the door back, it but would be you two know, separate noises. But you know how in life they're not the same sound? 
No, I do, but but who walks into a room and just leaves the door or leaves the front door well, open? Well, rude people. You close the door, so it should be it should be an open and then a close, and then when you leave, it's an open and a close. No one walks into a room and it's and just leaves it open and then closes it when they leave, right? I, number five. Five. We're up to five already. I think that uh, if you are walking into a room, uh, an empty room with a closed door, you may open the door and leave it open because now you are in the room. Yes, if it's an empty room, but if someone is joining it, look, you know. Let's I, really break this down. <laughs> okay. A front door, certainly, uh, you would not want to leave that open because right. you would either be air conditioning or trying to heat the whole neighborhood. <laughs> um, unless you had a screen door, then you would leave the front door open and if, you would be. If the inside were a little hot. You, you God a, damn you it, they fent- all fell out. <laughs> oh. Seems like we have way more time than I thought. Anyway, this but is bullet number one. I'm glad. Let's say you had those phantom screens that are uh, hidden within the wall of sure. the door, and then yeah. you pull that. So then, of course, you leave the front door open and you close the screen, but it's not even really a screen door. If it's a, a, a sliding in there, it's a pocket door. Right. Uh, it's a different principle. Shut the front door, some people say. This and is I, a, that's what I think. You think shut the front door in, in all events. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's rude to leave it open. In any case, what is your aim name? Name. Scott, I'm afraid to say it because I feel that uh, if it is overheard by a murderous friend, that uh, it could lead to my premature demise. Well, I mean, wouldn't it be oh, better shoot, for these us? bullets to- are all over. Right. <laughs> rolling all over the place. Oh, one roll to the maybe other we, side of the room. Maybe we don't have to be worried at all. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can just end the show. He's never going to get around to it. And two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> here we go. All right. Oh, loaded and ready to go. Uh... Oh, little boy. You mentioned little boy. I'm sorry. No, I'm a little man. How you doing? You, you, of course no, you're you a little man. You mentioned a yeah, little yeah, yeah. boy earlier. Wait, are you just talking Who to Jay Davidson a... again? <laughs> yeah, that was an answer to it. Is that about your penis? Question. Yeah, no, I mentioned <laughs> yeah, It is. I call him little man. He must be very jealous because he doesn't have a penis anymore because no, yeah. Forval cut it off. Yeah. <gasps> Forval! Why, why are How you, do you saying know that this? Fucking name? How do you know that fucking name? Forval, the little orphan boy? I am in the dark. I'm wearing a hood sock. How do you know <laughs> How do you know that fucking name, Scott? Is Forval the one who hired you? I don't you? know if we're talking about the same one. Is he a little off well, and baby boy? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Why do you sound like Forval? Zip. Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> no, sorry, I just got to take a piss real quick. <laughs> okay. Boy, he's back to taking a piss. I was worried when he said zip that... I- that, that he was, was gonna going to pull, peel off, pull, a, false pull off a whole false skin. Forval, uh, while he's taking a piss, Forval is a little orphan. Uh, you've never heard the Time Bobby episodes of this of this program, I would imagine. None of those words mean anything to me. Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber, does that yes. mean anything to you? You guys have never been on the show together. I don't believe so. We were on one show together one <laughs> oh. time, but it didn't get recorded. <laughs> right, along with Ice-T. <laughs> That's right. A whole bunch of people. <laughs> right. Um, but uh, uh, we've encountered this little orphan boy who runs around the studio looking for scraps named Forval, and he's tried to murder us several times. That's the short version of it. Uh, you can listen to previous episodes. And now... This uh, little orphan boy has contracted uh, a killer to kill you? Or you. Why would he kill me? He has no idea. I have no relation to him. I'm Werner Herzog. Maybe he saw Jack Reacher and he wanted his money back? I can't imagine anyone who saw my performance in Jack Reacher wanted their money back, not to sound boastful. (laughs) But I was pretty good in Jack (laughs) Reacher. You sound very boastful. Well. (laughs) Are you done with your piss? Zip. (laughs) Uh, up, you know, they both sound the same. Kind of like, like a door. Yeah, door opening and door closing. And a door closing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It should be unzip and zip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, who are you here to murder? If that's, if that's not too If that's to not too presumptuous. Look, I got a piece of paper over here. Okay? Right, yeah. And the bottom? All I know is when I wake up in the morning, a little orphan baby boy has dropped off a note in my house with an AIM on it. And as I look here, as I unfold this, not embarrassed, because it's my job. I see an AI. Thank you very much. What do you think it means? It's literally the quietest paper. <laughs> whisper silence. It's whisper paper. And I see an AIM right here. What What does it say? It says Scotty Scott right here. Scotty Scott. Oh, Is no. that yours? It's mine. <laughs> oh, no, Werner. Why I do you a, have... I'm a big but, paper towel fan. <laughs> 
But as I look at it, I see that that one's in my handwriting. <gasps> and the other one is in different handwriting. Like oh. little orphan like handwriting? little orphan boy handwriting? Like, like greasy? Yeah, there's like gristle on here. Gristle, yeah, exactly, yeah. A couple yeah. scraps on the side there. A couple well, of scraps. This is classic Forville. Yeah. These are all his catchphrases. <laughs> I can't believe you know that name. Yeah, he's terrorized me for years now. I'm good friends with his brother. Fivel? Four and a half, Bill? Oh, no, that's his son, I think. <laughs> I don't know. It's very complicated. It's, yeah, but what I'm trying to say here is maybe you were too boastful there, huh, Werner? Maybe I was. Maybe I'm not a fan of boastfulness. Oh, my God. What does it say underneath? <laughs> he's reading. <laughs> He's really slow at reading. His eyes are slowly oh passing my God. over the letters. Takes this is the most time climactic moment of the, the show. Bottom. Please answer the question. Nah, probably going to slow it down a little bit more. <laughs> oh, God. Slow, Pesci. <laughs> the answer says, kill the man with not enough fingers. <gasps> That's me. Oh, my God. I didn't tell you, but in between the last, last week's show and this show, I chopped off three of my fingers. Why did you do this? You know, it, it, you know how trepanation when you're trying to drill a hole in the back of your head? To let get evils out? Yeah. What is it? What a hole? Trepanation. What's that? It's like when you're trying to get oxygen into your brain because you think it'll give you a high. Like what Dama used to do? <laughs> is that what he was doing to those people? He used to drill the hole? Yeah, you know. Pour bleach in there? Yeah. I. <laughs> Come on, everyone knows that fact. <laughs> It's like a Bob Marley fact. Yeah, it's like a Bob Marley fact. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer used to drill holes in Asian man's heads and then pour bleach in there so kind he of could make them sexual slaves. <laughs> Why do you know that? Why do I know that? Who told you that? You're not going to believe this. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> what? So wait, who are you here to kill? Him or me? I'm here to kill you. Oh, no. For Forval. my boss, Forville. Forville. God the damn it. The orphan boy. But you, I'm just, I'm just not a fan. You're doing I him lied for free? earlier. I said, you know, I was a fan. That was what the French call a lie. You misrepresented I your misrepresented fandom. I misrepresented my fandom. So, so, you, so you're not getting paid for two? I don't got to bust a piss. My dick works fucking great. <laughs> you don't have to. Let's see it. Oh, my God. He's a, been, he was using a fake penis before. That was Jay Davis's penis given to me from the bandolier of Forvo. Oh, my God. It's, it's, I knew it was a different color. Subterfuge on top of obfuscation. <laughs> uh, God bless you. We are in a terrible web of deceit. I knew I'd seen that penis before. I was like, every time he whipped it out to bust it's a, a famous, piss. It's maybe quite the most famous the penis, most penis famous in the world. Penis in the world. Oh. Slow Joe. Please call me Seth. Slow Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Slow Pesci. Thank you. I beg of you not to commit these murders and let me appeal to you on an emotional level, which is extremely difficult for me to do, but here goes nothing. <laughs> Perhaps it is that living in the shadow of your famous brother, Joe Pesci, has uh, caused a, a bitterness inside you that has led you to this murderous pursuit and I know a little something about it because I live in the shadow of my brother Berner Herzog. Berner Herzog? The famous... <laughs> he's just a little bit hotter than you, right? <laughs> yes, he's famous for making phones for drug dealers. <laughs> oh no. He makes them. He doesn't sell them. them. He makes them. He makes this, a special brand of cell phone that drug dealers use that uh, it dissolves yeah. after uh, 24 hours. I loved his work on The Wire. <laughs> it, he outfitted all of the burner phones for The Wire and of course he's uh, hugely famous in Germany and uh, and no one really knows who I am over there. And uh, they think that my name is uh, just a joke name uh, off of his. Uh, but in reality, I am his older brother and uh, I've longed to crawl out from under his shadow. Uh, but I have chosen the path uh, of uh, creative expression rather than uh, murderous rage. I just want to tell you it's not too late for you. This could be your new path. Wow. That's... That's a lot to take in. And I'll just say... So are you telling me you're like a... You're a Davids like me? <laughs> I'm a bit of a Davids. I, I, well, I want to say I'm not a Davids, but I have a wife, man. Don't kill me. It's not as eloquent as his, maybe, but... <laughs> yeah, that almost sounded... It kind of sounded like a Bart Simpson catchphrase. <laughs> like, don't but have a wasn't. cow, man? Yeah, oh, that's... Yeah, it like sounded a, a like lot a like... Like a Nancy it. Cartwright yeah. kind of situation? <laughs> yeah. Getting her hair cut? Yeah. <laughs> 
maybe something that I was talking yeah, you know, to someone I, else I, I, about. I've talked to you about that before yeah. the show. Uh, come on, don't kill us. I mean, I'm not going to kill you. <sighs> I'm going to kill you. Who are you pointing at? You're doing it so slow. It's up in the air my right now. It takes a while for it to come it's around. Coming down, it's, it's coming, coming down. down. Oh my God. It's pointing at Werner. Yay. Now, I, it ended up on you. It you ended look, up on me. Damn away it. I looked soon. away too soon. Oh. Look, I'm sorry. It's my job. It's my jib jab. I got to do it. So. I'm not a jib jab. I'm a human being. I know. I don't have cartoon legs. Look, man, take 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 the uh, take all the stuff out of it. You know what I mean? This is a job. I get the piece of paper. I do it. He gives me the money, and I gotta do it. And if he said I gotta kill you, you probably did something wrong. Wait, <sighs> slow pesci. How much money is this Forval paying you to kill Scott Ackerman? Because I'll double it, and then I'll double that, and then I'll double it up to eight times. Well, no, I'd get embarrassed. <laughs> Seven times. I'll chip in some DVDs, Blu-rays. It's okay, now we're talking. <laughs> Steel books or <laughs> yeah, absolutely <laughs> comes, you, with a, you, comes with a little useless program of some kind. You just tell me what system you have, and I'll make sure that we, it's. Are we talking lenticular poster? Are we? <laughs> absolutely, you're a collector. I am. <laughs> First and foremost, <laughs> zip. What? Hello. <gasps> I knew it! Who's this? He zipped off his human skin. This is Forval! This is the little orphan boy I was telling you about. He's very little. He's so small. He's so adorable. Whoa. Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm just a humble filmmaker. Hi, Forval. I'm a humble podcaster. You may not remember me. Uh, Scott. Ackerman, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, you, I want you, you to die. No, 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 no. You're thinking of Andrew Lloyd Webber, the person that I am that's usually. That's not you. That's not me. No. The, remember, I know. Have you, I made a grave mistake? Uh, yeah. I, I know. Remember the guy that was pretending to be Stephen Sondheim? Yeah. Yeah, that's the guy that you want to murder. I not know. not Werner or us. I know. We're we're your friends. No, but you're not nice. No, we're your friends. Now you always horrible. say mean things to me. No. And you cock block me when I try to live with that man. Which man? The the the. the Webber guy. Andrew, the Andrew Lloyd Webber, Lord yeah. Fauntleroy. What was his name? Yeah, I'm sorry I cockblocked you, but... You always do it, and I hate you. No, you don't hate me. I try to kill you all the time, and I ride away on my pony. I know. You were on my TV show for, like, three times trying to kill me. I know. I you, did tips. You followed me around the all... The clear <laughs> next step in Forval was tips. Was tips, yes. Tips to beat the heat. <laughs> tips to get make it in Hollywood. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah all my classics. <laughs> Wait, were you on four times? Yeah. I think you were, actually. I think I was on with Bill Hader. Right. I was Season Amber two. Tamlin. I was on once. Yeah. Right, I I yeah. How come we never did one with Andrew Lloyd Webber? Weird. That is weird. Yeah. I think it may have been like a booking thing. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Ain't it always the truth? Anyway. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I will oh. return. Oh. He's too fast. Come on, Rob <laughs> Where do those rock <laughs> riders come from? The Doppler effect. Scott, are you all right? He, you seem to have been stabbed multiple uh, times oh, by that little boy. I am slain. <laughs> oh, oh. Actually, now that I think about it, his knife is so small. It really just kind of poked me. It was a proportional knife, yes. Uh, yeah. It was, yeah. <laughs> Almost like the proportional... <laughs> Strength of a spider that Spider-Man has. It's like a little mosquito has bitten me. I wonder if that's one of the bugs in Bob Marley's. Somebody say spider Forval. <laughs> oh, no. spider Forval, you're back. Thwit, thwit. Hello. <laughs> oh no! Look, his hair is coming out in patches. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> I, this this is not that bad. He's never really stabbed me before. Because I didn't want to do it. I want us to be friends, please. I want to be friends too, Forval. It's just that I keep you keep trying to keep trying to cockblock me. I just need scraps and love in my life. Look, you have the ultimate scrap. You have Jay Davidson's penis. It's the best scrap in the world. The ultimate scrap. It's the ultimate Verna, scrap. May I live with you? I'm not. I'm not going to stand in your way. This. I'm not going to. Once I'm not, and for all, I'm going to stay out of this. Totally. For well, I will tell you that uh, life in my home would be a, a daily uh, bath in cold despair, uh, starting with a, a grim, bleak morning, uh, 
going into a crushing numbness of an afternoon and then uh, wrapping it all up with uh, uh, the cloak of uh, ignorant darkness uh, in which you would cry out uh, in fear and pain uh, every evening as you go to sleep. But if that's okay, then you can crash with me. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. I come from the streets. I've had a rough time. Why don't you get in the pocket of my vest and I will take you home? You have a lot of pockets on Yikes. that vest. I'm a filmmaker. Oh my so. God, he jumped in there. I made a little sound when I did it. He's Yikes. so tiny. He's, oh, he jumped out. It's the exact same sound. <laughs> oh, he's, the exact back in. he's back in. Wow. That's, it's almost like uh, you're in the movie Her and you have that iPhone in your pocket. Fuck that movie. Fuck that movie, really? I, I concur. Fuck that movie. I, I liked love it. you. You're gonna be my papa. <laughs> I, I've, I guess I never really thought about it, but you guys are sort of made for each other in a way. I mean, you're maybe we are. You're so bleak and and you're so murderous. I would have listened to the tapes of Timothy. Is that a reference? I think so. <laughs> it's still a reference. <laughs> you know, for well, I've been missing a, a murderous little demon in my life ever since Klaus Kinski passed away. <laughs> Perhaps this is fate that we have been brought together. This is the most beautiful day of my life. And wow. mine. I can't believe it, but you both have found Thank your you, soulmates almost. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott, for bringing us together. I'm sorry Big Sue didn't work out, but if you want to go on another date, we'll pay for it. I would love to go. <laughs> with the same person with which the date did not work out? Yeah. Why, why would I do that? Well, that's why. Okay, so Forville is better for you then? Yes, he would be my, uh, my recliner kinder. I'm so happy for the first time in my life. What a beautiful ending to the saga of Forval, and I guess the saga of Werner That's Herzog. That's right, you'll never see me again. <laughs> wow. So this is your retirement from the show. Yeah. We can call you former podcast stars. Absolutely. Absolutely, starting wow. after we finish. Thank you, Scott, for finally bringing us together. <sighs> it's my pleasure. But one last thing. Yes? <laughs> Oh, a real knife! A real knife! Ah, I am also being stabbed! It was all a ruse! I will return in maybe two years! Doppler effect! Come on, Wilders! Uh, all right, well, we're bleeding out. Did put put pressure on mine, if you wouldn't mind. The wife, uh, I'm a little busy with mine. <laughs> okay, I guess let's put pressure on each other, or or but, why don't we just handle our own wounds? <laughs> M Y O B, in other words. <laughs> M Y O W. All right. Well, you know, we're, we're as we bleed out, we're running out of time. All we have time to do is a little something called plugs. It's time for plugs. It's time for fun. Yeah, let's talk about oh, God. The stuff. Working on for months it's getting All very the dizzy. jokes that we've been singing All the tent that we've been slinging Time oh. Yeah, it's time for fun I've been shot before, but this is worse This is worse This is a gut stick is It's a real gut stick <laughs> That was, speaking of gut sticks That was Slung Tent by Anarast Oh, man. Uh, recorded off of uh, uh, an iMac microphone, apparently. Um, <laughs> meow, I know. Claws in, cat. <laughs> Speaking of claws. What a bitch. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I, uh, uh, what do you want to... You, you talk about what you want to plug. I have a big announcement uh, before I bleed out. Um, I'd like to plug, uh, you know... Just uh, keep on keeping on. <laughs> okay, great. Keep on it's, keeping I'm on. I'm having a hard time concentrating. I'm having a hard time putting thoughts together. The it's worst, almost like I'm slow peshy or something. The worst part is watching my blood uh, just ooze out. It's like, uh, like a chocolate fountain. Yeah, and it didn't shut the door behind it. <laughs> it didn't shut the door oh, behind it. God. All right, I have a big announcement. Uh, I want to plug... And you are going to want to come to this. December 10th, Los Angeles, we're doing a big, big live show, an all-day live show called PCAST Blast 17. How is uh, that spelled? P-E-E. -E. That's too bad. <laughs> Cast Blast. <laughs> PCAST Blast 17. Comedy Bang Bang. How did this get made? Improv for Humans. Hollywood Handbook. Who charted and playing games with Jimmy Pardo, all doing a show on one bill. 
Uh, one ticket gets you in to see all of those. It's not separate stages, so no shows will be uh, happening at the same time. You'll get to see all of those at the Theater at the Ace Hotel, December 10th, Los Angeles. Tickets go on sale this Friday. Oh, God, I'm bleeding. Um, but uh, I, I hope I make it. Uh, but uh, if you want to get early tickets, we're doing a pre-sale this week uh, on either Wednesday or Thursday. Check our Twitters about it uh, with code word BLAST for all the fans. You can get in early and get the tickets before they go on sale to the general public. Uh, code is BLAST to get early tickets. It's going to be really fun. We we talked about this at Comic-Con. We said, hey, what if we did a show where all of us teamed up and did a show together? And so we're going to do it December 10th. Come in from out of town. We're going to make it really special. Special guests, Comedy Bang Bang, uh, Paul F. Tom. Do you know Paul F. Tompkins? Comedian Paul F. Tompkins? Uh... You were on. You did the Ace Hotel the last. Oh, you are really looking bad right now. Uh, <laughs> oh God, he's okay. I, I I almost have to wrap it up. Close. Uh, tickets on sale Friday, but uh, go for the pre-sale. Uh, code blast December tenth. That's going to be an amazing show. All right, let's close. Oh, also, I want to plug my favorite TV show, Me My uh, Me Myself and I, not Me Ma and I. Me Myself <laughs> and I. Uh, Mondays at I believe nine thirty. 8.30 Central. Fat Child at 9.30 on CBS. <laughs> on CBS. Uh, I, I, our good I, friend Bobby Moynihan is I, on that show. I want to plug... And Mandel Mon. I want to plug... You want to plug something? Mountain Dew Code Blast. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, PCAST Blast. Uh, PCAST Blast. Mountain Dew Code Blast. It'll make you crazy. <laughs> no, PCAST Blast 17, he'll December be, 10th. He'll be the hero. All right, let's close up the old plug bag. Talk about bad. Oh, God. The pain. I feel very warm and calm right now. There's a, there's like a light. Yes. Do you see it? It's, I see a red light. You see, it's like a red light, green light situation. It, it's, it's saying green to me. Oh, it looks red to me. It looks red. Maybe you're not supposed to go in it. Maybe. Oh, my, or wait, or maybe it's hell for you. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, no. Not great. <laughs> Not great, Bob. Maybe you were. <laughs> is that a reference? Oh, God. All right. Well, I want to thank you, Werner, for being on the show. It's great to see you again. I'm sorry that uh, I brought this upon your doorstep. That's all right, Scott. Thank you for having me on the show so many times. And uh, it's uh, too bad I'll never be on it again because of death. I don't think I'll be on it again. I think I'm going to die next to Todd here and all the other people that have died on the that show. Makes me feel a little better. Todd came back to life, though, I think. Yes, he's the only one. <laughs> Oh, God. And our thanks to Slow Pesci, a.k.a. Forville, wherever he is, uh, Spider Forville. It's very generous of you to thank him. <laughs> well, I guess I shouldn't, but I'm a, I'm a generous soul. It's almost Christmas. We're four inches deep in Octi Doggy. Uh, all right. We'll see you next time. Oh, God. Step into the light. Step into the light. Oh, God. It's warm. It's getting hot. Uh, see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening. And remember, now boarding on Delta, free messaging. You don't have to be off the grid when you're in the air. It's easy to access. Just go to the Wi-Fi portal, select free messaging pass on your next Delta flight. You can use iMessage, WhatsApp, and Facebook Messenger simply by logging into the in-flight Wi-Fi. Delta Airlines is committed to constantly improving every aspect of the travel experience, including your ability to stay connected while in flight. With free messaging on Delta, you have no reason to stop the conversations you're having on the ground when you get in the clouds. Ding. Earwolf? More like fear wolf. Get ready to quake in your headphones because Earwolf's movie podcasts are talking about horror movies the entire month of October. Listen to How Did This Get Made? The Canon and Cracked Movie Club dissect spine-tingling horror classics all month long! <laughs> and watch out for special spooktacular episodes of Gilbert Gottfried's amazing colossal podcast, The Cracked Podcast, and Who Charted? Or should I say, Boo Charted! Subscribe to all these shows and follow along on social 
social media with the hashtag FearWolf. And beware of podcasts that go bump in the This has been an Earwolf production, executive produced by Scott Ackerman, Chris Bannon, and Colin Anderson. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolf.